got Tom Hamster Bomb and you guys are joining me for another art stream. Oh dear. Hopefully the volume's okay. Might have to turn it down a bit. Hopefully you can still hear me alright. Oh boy. Uh, that was a... an interesting break. Um, whew, okay, so... I guess I'll just give it a second and give you guys a chance to get in here because I am technically early. Um, on the stream, even though I had to put it off by, um, like 20 minutes out of nowhere. Uh, it only took me about 15 minutes to get back on here, later than what I expected, but still. <sighs> Alright. Anyway. I'm here, I'm back, I'm sorry. Um. Oh, and Avery to solve. Whoops. Um, Avery wanted to talk to me, but I completely goofed that. Um, I am now in the Academy lobby on, um... Discord, so for those of you guys who want to jump in, chat, cool, we can do the thing. <sighs> you even see me? <laughs> no more Heroes music, by the way. Okay, so, um, that break was nuts. Okay, I gotta finally move my stuff out of the way. What was I even doing? I had a, it was like a dead rush. Hey, Acrosaurus, how you doing? Oh my goodness, that, um, that break between uh, Blasphemous and now running around, it was just nuts. So many things I had to get done. Um, so I had to basically, I had to get food, of course, I was starving. Um, I finally get food and I had to change Budo's water. He's in our salt water tank. And um, I go to do that and I, I, it was like, I haven't seen him in a couple days. I mean, he is a snowflake eel he's really good at hiding he's got a 55 gallon tank to hide in with lots of little hidey spots but like, it's a little weird I haven't seen him so I'm changing the water and that normally makes him come out and get agitated but didn't see him and I'm stressing out I'm looking all over I even spilled a lot of water um, not like his tank tipping or anything I was changing the water so of course I I spilled a lot of it on accident because I was looking for him the whole time and it took me like um, an extra 15 so minutes to change his water just because I was lifting everything, looking under it, like trying to find where he went. And I was freaking out because I, like, I looked in everything. I was like, that's every hole he could possibly be in. How was he not here? And um, he somehow appeared later. I Aloha. Did, I did find him. Hey, squad. Um, I was... Your mic sounds so much better. Yeah, it's... Well, the thing is, <sighs> it's actually using my microphone now. It's not using um, yeah. the... Uh, th this physical one that is attached to my webcam, which is garbage, by the way. You know, the next piece of equipment that I... Well, there's two things I really need for the channel next. Non-game stuff. And that's... Um, I need a new webcam. This thing's, it, it claims 1080p, but it is not very good. But the bigger problem may be I need a light source, like a good, consistent light source. I have blackout curtains, um, and I I need to use the sun anyway. So that sucks. I should just block, use them blocked out when I'm recording and have a nice light set up to my right <laughs> and be done with this. Maybe you should use the light from my dazzling smile. <laughs> On the other side of the world, just keep keep on grinning, man. I forgot to bring uh, up water. After I'm changing. Some actually, salt. funny story. I forgot how to smile. What? That's not funny. The terrors of this world have worn me out. <laughs> Let me see. I'm looking for. I gotta pull up this picture so I know what I'm drawing from. Oh, sheesh! I have like. I was running frantic that whole time, trying to eat fast enough, trying to take care of the water and looking for Budo. Oh, I have, uh, a, I have a... Budo, the cute little snowflake. Deal. I have a headache now. Well, he, he freaked me out because I couldn't find him for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Aww. I gotta he's, a good, he's a good little eel, though. He is a good little boy. I just wish he would uh, eat some more uh, lately, but the thing is... He's gets, he becomes a picky eater like once every like three months or so. And uh, I he, yeah, he doesn't really eat much. And then one of those feeding times, he'll just go nuts and eat a ton. Uh, when are you going to do the playing with yourself episode on Colonel Sanders? I'm not planning on doing one on Colonel Sanders. There's nothing to say about it. Um, 
It is game about fried chicken. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that that game is an advertisement. It's a funny advertisement. I gave it enough time today by playing the entire thing. I don't think it deserves a playing with myself. There's so many other games and sequels that I really want to get to first. It doesn't make sense to me, at least, to actually, you know, spend my time doing that. Okay. Let me... I mean, I'm gonna zoom in on this image so I can see the... You know, today I'm gonna draw alongside you, or at least attempt to. Hey, you know what? About time. That was the, that was the idea when we did this, but... Man, this year's just been crazy. It has been the crazies. Mm -hmm. Very of the crazies, indeed. Let's see, actually, this... Looks about right if I had this come out to... There. And... There. Maybe not there. Oh, what are you gonna draw, then? I have no idea. I'm just gonna scribble on something and uh, wait until the inspiration hits. The game was amazing, 10 out of 10. You know, I maybe that's a big problem with why I can't rate or make a review of that game, there's nothing to review, there's nothing to rate. It's it's a joke. You know, the game, it, it's, it's not a game. You know, that's, that is the real part of it. I don't really consider that a game. It was just a joke. Colonel Sanders. Now I have to fix the resolution for Photoshop. The thing is, I don't know where. So, um, what exactly, for your monitor? Yes. Okay, so I changed go monitor. to edit at the top, uh -huh. and then preferences, I would do it on my screen, but as soon as I pull a window up, you won't see it. But yeah, uh -huh. edit at the top, edit preferences, and then there's just gonna be a, a big a dialogue or a box thing that pops up, and you'll have a uh -huh. million options. One of them is going to have something to do with the resolution and the screen itself. I can't be more specific than that because I'm not looking at it unless you really want me to... I can dig into it right now if you can't find it, but it should be kind of clear. Oh, just click on any of them, by the way, just like general or something. Uh, and then yeah, you'll get the window. Uh, That's what I meant. Yeah, you just got to click on the window. I'm looking at it now. Um, it's not under general... It might be workspace. No, it's not workspace. It's not performance. Uh, units, rules, grids, plugins, media technology, previews. Um... Maybe under grids and uh, no uh, media transparency. Maybe units and rulers. Uh, units, uh, new document preset size. No. <laughs> so, hold on. I I think what you're. What exactly are you trying to do? Well, because uh, when I, it it feels like it isn't calibrated. I don't know how to explain it, but. Oh. Uh, oh oh hold on. Are you so you're using a drawing tablet? Yes. Okay. What's but it isn't because it isn't calibrated. It's because I changed monitors and this one has yeah. a higher resolution. So yeah. it's acting like... It's not Photoshop. It's the tablet. So, um... Oh. Yeah, so the tablet... You need to open the tablet settings. I don't know what kind of tablet you have, but there's going to be settings in there that give you the option of selecting, like, what resolution your monitor is because right now it thinks it's smaller. So that's why when you move not very far, mm -hmm. your, your cursor moves too fast. Yes, That's exactly. What's going on? It's it's your tablet. It's not Photoshop. Finally found a Let pose with that. Gognasia that shows an acceptable amount of the wings. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason I was taking that in my head to like the wrong direction. Finally found a pose with insert anything here that shows an acceptable amount of. <laughs> you just mad libs the rest of that sentence together and it sounds really funny. <laughs> oh God, I uh... need a break. Like a real break. Oh. Yeah, Maybe a fundraiser for a trip to the Bahamas. If I had that money, I would never use it like that. Um, yeah, you'd go to the Maldives instead. I wouldn't go anywhere. I would just pay off stuff, take a break from work. Um, that's all I need. Have you ever been abroad? Uh, I have been... Not much. Okay, so... My... Family took me on... Two different cruises when I was younger. And that was it. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, you know, my passport, uh, was set to expire this year. 
and uh, for right now it should have, but the thing is I don't know if they gave me extra time to do it. I just didn't like want to go into the post office, which is one of the worst places to go right now. Yeah. Yeah, um, just to renew that thing, because even though I have no plans, but I know it's a pain in the neck to get a new one, but... And we didn't really go really far. It was like, one was the Caribbean, which barely counts. And then um, the other one was to Alaska, which I would say doesn't really count. But I needed a passport anyway, because we had to pass through Canada and, you know, stuff through Canada. Also, I went... Is Alaska, is Alaska part of America or Canada? It's, it's part of it's America, America, right? America, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's one of the 50. Um, it's the largest. It's really cool up there, but... Mm. You still got a passport to get through. Mm. You know what? Um, I think that's like, that shit. And then there's... Uh... Huh. But yeah, so not really. I've also been to Niagara Falls, which is barely Canada. Um... About it. I hit this thing right on my leg. Oh, yikes. I legitimately have a really bad headache right now. <sighs> Do you have uh, a no aspirin or something? Uh, no. I I never really take stuff like that anyway. Um, I should. It made me feel a lot better, but I beat myself up too much. Um, yeah, that's about what I thought. It's a very thin black um, ridged line. Trying to go on a on a goose chase to see how I can change my resolution. Um, well, you're not changing your resolution unless the resolution of the actual monitor is wrong so if you move your mouse around is the mouse no the mouse is fine so it's, it's just the graphics tablet so it's not yeah it's not your resolution it's the resolution that your graphics tablet thinks your computer is yeah that's what i'm trying to change but well, i don't know not, how right. what kind is it it's a wacom graphics tablet one i believe um yeah it should use the same software mine does then i think um, yeah, Rowan, I am like, oh, my head, <laughs> oh, oh, my head, I, I don't know if you heard, um, between phases here, I was streaming Blasphemous earlier, had a longer break, had to change Buddha's water and get some food downstairs, and I couldn't find him for like 20 minutes, I was just stressing out, oh. I eventually found him, a little stinker. Poor Pudo. Yeah, I was just like shaking us, practically shaking the tank, which I couldn't do. It's 55 gallons. But yeah, I was just doing whatever I could, lifting stuff inside of it, which I don't like doing either because, I mean, he's still an eel, and he'll still bite. It's mostly because he doesn't understand or he's scared. That he'll bite, um, and I don't want to get bitten by him. That that must hurt, getting bitten by a snowflake. Are snowflake eels large? Uh, they can be. Mine's not that big. But um, the thing is, I'd still have to go to the hospital just because of like how. Depending on what kind of eel that... it is, I'm not sure about the snowflake and the the size of it matters too. When they bite... I'm guessing it's the bacteria or germs nah, and stuff. Nah, it's not it. it. It's when they bite, they they don't let go. They're not the chewing kind of fish. Like there's two kind of fish. There's they, they call them, um, uh, nippers and gulpers, right? So something that slowly, you know, pecks away its food, uh, or something that can just swallow it whole. And, um, snowflake eels attempt to basically be a gulper. And, um, that can be problematic when, you know, they're trying to defensively bite something and they don't understand how to let go of it, other, you know, other than eat it. So they will probably lose some of their teeth, which are very tiny, in your finger if uh, they bit you, and that's the problem. And here in Malta, we have a lot of more eels, and if I remember correctly, is the bacteria that's dangerous. Mm. What kind of mores? I have no idea. I love 
I love you so much. Let me check. I mean, we they generally just call them more eels. Oh, I'm guessing. Well, I, I'm guessing they're Mediterranean, since we're in, well, in the, the thing dead is, center. The, yeah, they're Mediterranean. They're still in the same family. Ah, uh, it's it's probably a Mediterranean moray eel. Just called because Mediterranean moray eel. I kind of want to see what that looks like. I'm curious if you looked it up and that's right. Yeah, I mean, I'm. Oh, I see the snowflake moray. Yeah, it's. Uh, they look very familiar to the ones I'm used to. It better not be a uh, comb because they look. Those look similar. Oh, um, yeah, those are. Those look. Related, um, they're like a cross between. Actually, they look like several things I've seen. But anyway, yeah, yeah, those are those are those get larger. Yeah, they're pretty For large. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. I I remember uh, back when I was in secondary, I had a job. It's kind of a. What did they call it? Not apprenticeship. Internship. And it's kind of an it's more of an exposure thing to get used to uh to kind of see what jobs are like and stuff. It's kinda of like an For, internship. Yeah, maybe it, unpaid obviously, but it was like a week at an aquarium. Oh, never mind. So it was uh a scam is what it was. I mean it was only a week long, it was only just for us to get okay. the general feel of how the workplace is. Gotcha. A week long and obviously we didn't have the full range of experiences as an employee would have mm -hmm. it was more of a shadowing thing yeah I uh, and i used to work in an aquarium oh yeah really for a week yeah oh you only Malta's national week. aquarium yeah it was pretty fun i remember i pet a shark i would like to actually uh work in the aquarium i could probably do well there but the problem is it uses like zero of the skills I've got for other job related stuff. Yeah, I I loved to work the week I spent there. The staff was very nice. The food was delicious. <laughs> totally gonna move on to colors today after all this time. I just wanna finish this. It's gonna take so little time to block in color. <laughs> <laughs> like this thing is just purple. Purple. Blue, 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 yellow, yellow. Now, I'm still trying to figure out how I can change the tablet resolution. Maybe I have to update hey, hold it. Hold on, hold on. Do Wait, do I have to install a, a driver update? Center? Well, that will, that yes. will help. So, okay, I've got the same thing. Um, let me look where it, it was for me, because that happens every time you install it. Because um, it'll always guess, and it guesses wrong. Um... Mine's up to date, just checking devices, click on the one. Pen settings, touch settings, orientation, I don't think it's on screen control, touch screen, express, stock orientation, getting started, versus... If you just Google it, someone will take yeah. you to it. It'd take less time than us, you know, slowly trying yeah. to figure it out. <laughs> So, um, anyway, now we can have a legitimate conversation on the next, um, Playing With Myself video, because I am probably, between now and the next time you see me, going to have to complete it. Mm -hmm. So, um, I need to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Uh, you and, it looks like Ronan are here, so, let me guy, let me know if you got, like, an idea. Uh, I think Ronan had the idea of, um, doing another sequel, which, um, I don't know if you... How closely you pay attention to what I choose to do and when. I try and space out, um, for one, like who the main plat, well, what the main platform was. Like I don't want to do too many Nintendos in a row, uh -huh. too many Sony's, and then I also try and change um, the year like up a bit. Because um, I remember once back to back I did two games from 2007, and I was like so bothered because the next game I wanted to do was also 2007. I think it was Bioshock. Like we did. We did The Witcher, we did Uncharted, and I wanted to do Bioshock. And I was like, this is not acceptable, I can't do that. So I was like, I need to do something wildly different. And the last prompt I gave you guys was, 
because I'm, I'm typically doing two regions, or I'm sorry, two videos and then a Pokemon region, which we're really close to finishing and I'm excited to just get back into regular videos. Um, but by the way, Avery pointed out a good point. I can't finish the Pokemon one for Sword and Shield until they give us the Crown Tundra Pokemon. So, uh, there's that. And even so, you have to play the game, or are you not doing that oh, anymore? God. Well, I don't need to play it. I'm not reviewing it. I'm just reviewing what the Pokemon designs, how I feel about them all. Ah, uh, um, okay. So anyway, uh, that one's a ways off still. It's at least four weeks. Um, and, uh, well, it's actually at least... Yeah, it's at least four. So, um... The other thing was, um, yeah, so the one I prompted for like two videos in between was let's do something retro and something new. And um, we finished Black Mesa and it occurred to me, I was like, that's both. <laughs> I should <laughs> just do both games, which of course ended up being a really hard thing to do. Um, but still, this kind of curls in a bit at the back. Fairy suit has heels. So anyway, um, that was something retro and something new. So now I kind of feel like I want to do um, sequels. Because I do lots of sequels of basically a series that I have already done. But we want to see like the next one for. Like for example, one that I've been, I've been ignoring for a very long time is Xenosaga. But granted, I wanted to s I had the most to say about Xenosaga 1. <laughs> um, uh. Yeah. The rest are like, hey, you okay? You know, I'm... They're okay. Well, honestly, three is very good. Two, I could rip on. But anyway, it's, it's just one of those that, like, kind of got forgotten. And there's a bunch of other ones that I am consistently doing, just trying to get back into them, like the Metal Gear ones I'm doing. Monster Hunter I keep going back to. Um, we w were doing Pokemon at first, then I opted to do the, the generational thing. Seems people kind of preferred that as opposed to the review of the region, and it would take way too long to review the region and talk about the Pokemon in the region in one video, so I just couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, uh, there's, there's others. Like, we just started Uncharted. We just started Witcher. Um, I was thinking of doing a second Zelda game, like Link to the Past, or finally doing a Mario game, finally doing, like, a Yoshi Kim... I don't want me to do Yoshi's Island. I was thinking of doing uh, basically a Super Nintendo game, like one of those three, or just give in and do Super Metroid. Sorry if I'm like zoning out every now and then, but I'm just trying to figure out how I make this thing work properly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now. So confused. It's it's just a little thing you're gonna take off. Oh, um, oh, okay, okay. Uh, mapping. That's probably it. Oh, okay. I think I fixed it. Hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. Because I uh, remember switching or reinstalled everything on my computer when the, I got the new stuff in, and I tried to immediately get right back into drawing the comic, and I was yes. like, "Oh God, this is unacceptable! What did I do?" I, I fixed it. Ah. That's good. Anyway, the thing is, because the it. tutorial I was watching was uh, for Apple, so oh, oh yeah. I. Yeah. I had to figure out how I should do it on Windows. Mm -hmm. And I used my usual method of clicking everything until something works. That is not a wise method. <laughs> In hindsight, no. But it worked this time, so I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Call it a fluke and say you'll never do it again. Quit while you're ahead. And come back a hero and tell people, I managed the click randomly method and it worked. <laughs> It did indeed work. Oh, uh, now it actually works. That's good. Oh, this is so much better. 
the thing is, uh, a while ago I did my... We, here in Malta, uh, at my level, we have a subject called Systems of Knowledge. It's basically one of those uh, subjects where everything is gathered under one roof, so you'd have a, like a compulsory subject. It's a compulsory subject with like a bunch of general knowledge in it. Don't know if you have anything like that in America. Um, we've got some weird one-off classes that are. Uh, this is not one-off. This is this is an entire course that's needed. This is an entire subject that you need to get into the course at uni. So I wish it was a one-off class, but yeah. Uh, basically. It has four modules in it, technology and science, uh, environment, uh, art and aesthetics, and democracy and responsible citizenship. And in arts, you basically go from the prehistoric period to the postmodern period and memorize a bunch of artworks that you need to criticize in your exam. You know, I have an MFA. I'm very familiar with art history. Even though I yeah. yeah, even though I don't wish I was. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, this is a compulsory, as I said, compulsory subject that's required at uni level for uni. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for me to become a doctor, I need to learn a bunch of artworks. For, if I were to become a doctor anyway, it's needed for all courses. But how that makes sense, I don't know. There's a lot of other dumb stuff similar to that where people have to learn things that don't make sense here yeah it's so I now have a bunch of artworks in my head which mm -hmm. I've learned by heart mm -hmm. and I've also taken up kind of a liking to impressionism because uh, Van Gogh is a favorite of mine Van Gogh Van Gogh Van Gogh yeah and it's weird because in Maltese I always call him Van Gogh, but for some reason when I speak in English I call him Van Gogh. Well, a I lot guess of people just... in English call him Van Gogh. Um, the correct way that they would have said his name back then would have been Van Gogh. But yeah. Whatever. It's just too. Hard I always. I I guess it's like psychological because when I'm speaking the accent, uh, trying to pull off the accent. I guess subconsciously I just say Van Gogh instead of Van Gogh. Maybe. It's, it's weird. Yeah, but yeah, now I'm just scribbling stuff. I'm hoping that it works. I made a shoe. <laughs> you made a shoe. I made a shoe. <laughs> In fact, the shoe should probably go over a little bit better. Now I got to make another shoe. But then I can be done with the with inks. And inks, I think, are the hardest part, especially on Samus. Good lord. Oh, I didn't even see all that crap in the fingers. Then I'm looking at the picture right now. Oh, I didn't draw any of that. <laughs> Where's the hand? Oh, I wasn't done with the hand. I Wait a minute. What about all those? There's a bajillion other lines that I didn't do on the arm. I'm not done with the arm. <laughs> uh oh. No. I'm trying to draw a cat from memory. I mean, not exactly memory because I have a cat in front of me, but it's very dark and I can't see her properly, so I'm gonna count it as memory. God, it's so hard to tell what this hand looks like from the other angle. It's like there's joints all over these. I can't really tell how the joints work. The picture I have is really high resolution, but it's just not high enough to see the detailing in fingers. <laughs> Um, there's like a plate. It's like up here. 
Oh, she has such few real fingers. That's gonna I mean, probably it's, choke it's, me. It's more like a giant gauntlet. <laughs> but. But they're cute real finger gonkets. Gonkets? Gonkets. Gonkets. I was trying to say gauntlet. Like a thing you wear. I know, I'm just trying to say it in the. Kuchi Kuchi Ku voice. Oh, I see. Damn, it has a little gauntlet. Yes, she is. She's gonna choke the life out of me. Oh, yes, she is. Uh, you know, this is so much better uh, without the ear rape. <laughs> I bet. I don't know why uh, that was happening. Well, I mean, I do. I'm just not paying attention to myself, I guess. Yeah, but Discord tends to do that. I have no idea why. Hmm. I hope it's using my good microphone. I mean, this should be the only microphone I have, so... Because, alas, I have no webcam. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> nope. I, I couldn't imagine getting anything done with no webcam, but granted... We do very different things. Yes. I play games on the internet while you play games with the internet. I thought you were going to say four, which was also correct. You are the internet slaves now. In some ways, yes, and I could have uh, accepted that slavery in terms of lots and lots of money and I turned it down. Possibly a stupid move. But whatever. Uh, I mean... Meh. I think I'd prefer things how they are right now instead of you having uh, kind of a fake following. Mm. Yeah, but the thing is, like, there's almost nobody. Once I know to like how to pay attention to what. Um... Oh, hold on. Is that the end of that finger? No, that's the end of this one. Um, it's it's so hard to even identify which people are being genuine and which people are not. Yeah, that's the thing. I guess you just have to give them a chance and see what happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, it goes for real life to, to a certain point. Uh... Man, this was the crazier, the more I think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, like, every single year people make jokes about how nuts it is. Yeah, but this one just kind of tops it all off. Yeah, it made it to, like, the jokes, you look back at the others and they're like, oh, god. Like, there's, an, there's a meme right now where um, you, you find a picture of yourself in January of this year or December of last year. Completely unsuspecting of the horrors uh, that are coming. Yeah, I've seen memes of that sort where people are like, "Oh yeah, 2020 is gonna be the best year of my life," and now uh, it snaps to today, and they're like, "Oh god, what have we done?" It slaps. What was I thinking? It snaps. <laughs> it slaps. Slaps. Oh, it slaps. Slap. Slap. My cat's giving me a death stare. <laughs> Granted, though, she's a Persian, so all stares are death stares from her. Ugh. You know, I uh, probably shouldn't fill this area in with black, but... You know, I made I made a really good joke that you would probably appreciate if you knew Maltese. <laughs> so I could explain here, it to hold you. On. Now, say it in your head, to yourself, and then just imagine me laughing. And it worked. Do I color that in black? I mean, I could explain it to you. Although it's just not gonna be as funny. Yeah, once you go through the whole explanation, jokes just aren't gonna land as well. Yeah, but I still wanna explain it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you yeah, see, because in Maltese, a, uh, yeah. a female cat in Maltese is called the Atusa. Okay. And the word for flat in Maltese is chat. 
So uh, combi I combine the two words and I call her Chatusa because her face is flat. I'm imagining you laughing now, so it's okay. I was waiting for a chat cat joke. Yeah, because I'm. I, I yeah, know. it's kind of the equivalent of a flat cat. Yeah, I know. Just, just thought flat cat. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, the the joke. It's we're waiting for the the laughing. It'll happen any second now. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. For, I wish I had like. Uh, a portable button where I can press it and Can't there'd laugh be a laugh track. Yeah, I, that's it. Yeah, um, I have actually considered, um, like, putting that sound effect, or just a series, like a laugh, canned laughter, um, soundboard on my phone. Just so that, like, I can tell, you know, a joke and, like, nobody laughs and just start hitting it. And then, also, I really like how, um, you know, in a lot of shows, if you think of... Um, just sitcoms where they put canned laughter in, but if, if you think about each time where the people are laughing, imagine it being dead silent, and it could be, it, it completely changes the tone. Sometimes it's not funny at all, and you're like, oh no, that's awful. Like, are you alright? <laughs> and then like, yeah. and there's just a canned laughter, and it's like, that seemed extremely inappropriate, but they're laughing, so it must be okay. Yeah, I, honestly, the, uh, the whole gist of laugh tracks is so offensive it's like you're this it's is like the, the tv is telling at. you you're so stupid that you probably don't even know that this is a joke so we're gonna tell you it yeah, is so you can laugh with the funny it. part you're supposed to laugh yeah i know that seems messed up but also the fact that um the people in those laugh tracks who were did the original recordings are all long dead oh that's yeah, also yeah, I've, Every time, every time you we mention laugh tracks, you mention that fact. I know it's just and so. It catches me off right off guard every time. It's so weird though. You're listening to the laughter of dead people, and like it makes it even less funny because I'm like, oh, that's so unsettling. You're listening to the joyous exclamations of the fallen. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> this is supposed to be the funny part. Why aren't you laughing? Uh, oh, laugh tracks. So At least they're getting phased out now. Are they? <laughs> In most shows, yeah. Seems like everyone's asleep today. No, I just got a splitting headache. Uh. I am just gonna color this in black, the contrast will be higher. The actual one has like it as a very, very dark gray, but I'm gonna do all that work and then paint dark gray under it and no one's gonna see that I did it. So, screw it. I'm just trying to wait for inspiration to hit. Still waiting. <laughs> if you just sit around and wait, it'll never happen. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of something. stuff. Uh... Honestly, the best way to do it is to just not try and copy something you see. Never do that. Just think of like, if you really just want something to screw around and draw, like kind of like what I'm doing, then just think of some game franchise or some thing that, you know, has some character or, you know, a scene. Or... White Fatalis. White Fatalis is awesome. And he's not in yeah. the world. You know how much I want to. F I've never fought White Fatalis. White Fatalis is like the strongest. I mean, like, lore-wise, it's Black Fatalis. But in terms of the gameplay, White Fatalis, in my opinion, is the most powerful of the three. He's, like, always the yeah. last one you unlock, too, when you fight them. He's so... It just looks so regal and majestic. Oh, wait, he is. Also, he's, and old, he's also called Old Fatalis. Yeah, and his soundtrack, I love his... I think it's my favorite Monster Hunter soundtrack of all time. I love how he, like, he spawns like through a portal in the eclipse. It's just so insane. Uh, I just, I really want to fight. He's in 4 Ultimates, right? Yeah, have you not played 4 Ultimate? That's what I was going to say next. I, I have, but I haven't unlocked G rank yet. Oh, uh, you got some ways to go. Yeah. You know, I think this actually needs to be erased.
that. I think it's on the underside of the thumb. Yeah, that's correct. Whoosh, okay. There, the arm is now actually finished. I didn't realize I wasn't done with the arm, considering how Zero Suit's gonna stand in the way of it anyway, and you won't even see my work. Uh -huh. uh. After this, though, I totally want to do a Proteus Ridley, but I should finish my book, which, that's another thing. Like, I need, like, more than a week off, because I need to, um... I have like I have a to-do list actually. Let me see if I finished my stuff I needed to do today. So there's so many things. Okay, so there's a couple jobs I was trying to apply to. I need to Nope, didn't get to do that. I needed to do the dishes. Um I did those streams, but I got another long list of things that I need to get done. And one of them is get all my comics on Kindle so people can actually read them. Hmm. <sighs> You're a busy man. Yeah, and I'm also broke. Mm. Though, um, I've been considering this. Um, recently, I just got contacted by somebody who's interested in buying um, some of my TFG collection, you know, my Pokemon TFGs. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I really don't want to break up the set, you know, to sell some, because I have a complete set. But I'm like, I really just need funds right now. I mean, I feel like never I been much, that. never been much of a collector myself, so I can't say I know how it feels. <laughs> well, the... yeah, you, you can't really, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess what you're trying to say. For a long time. Yeah. Yeah, that must suck, though. Mm -hmm. And they went up in value. A lot of them did. So it's like, I want to, you know. I would like to ideally just, like, snap my fingers and just convert that into funds that I can use towards other things. Be like, okay, collecting them was nice, it was fun. I really love them all, but. If I'm going to break the collection up, I don't want to have to look at an incomplete one that I I dismantled and I have some laying around. That That is just going to remind me of, you know, not having them and it's just going to be depressing, so I don't want that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, even though I could probably sell several of them right now and uh, make like a few thousand could probably uh, like get rid of some looming student debt you still have student debts mm hmm yeah they never go away it's terrible over here <laughs> yeah I saw a post a while ago about some uh someone who has student debts and took some private loan or something and it went along the lines of I uh, paid 30,000 I got paid 30,000 in student loans and how much do I have to pay now I, I, I uh, trying to remember how it was worded it was along the lines of I had 10 years ago or something along mm -hmm. those lines I had to pay 40,000 for student loans yeah uh, a lot Throughout these years, I've paid off thirty-nine thousand or something of it. Mm -hmm. How much do I have to pay now? Forty-one thousand. Yeah, it just keeps going. So it keeps rising because of interest or something. The in yeah, the interest rates are ludicrous, and you don't have a choice but to accept them. And they're allowed to keep changing the interest rates. Yikes! Mm -hmm. That sounds terrible. It is. It's um, really mm -hmm. malicious and. Just basically, it makes a whole system where rich get richer kind of thing. And, mm. you know, everyone else who's actually doing the work to make that money never gets out of it. They're just going to be trapped. I 
remember when a lot of this plays. This is No More Heroes. Did you play No More Heroes? Uh, let me check what it is. Don't tell me that's before your time. Don't make me feel that old. Oh, you did mention this game. No, it's... I think it's... I've my friend of, played this game. I've been make, thinking of making it um, my next video, just because No More Heroes 3 is coming out. And uh, You know, my childhood games basically consist of Monster Hunter and a couple of others. I grinded hard on Monster Hunter for Ultimate. For Ultimate? Uh, I mean, Freedom Unite. Yeah, I was gonna say, what? Freedom Unite was a big thing when I was in, um... High school. But only with, like, one friend of mine, and he was just trying to get everybody else into it, and we couldn't because nobody else had a, uh... PSP. Yeah, the thing is, I never played online. No, so, not online, yeah. We, he, we only played in person. That's kind of my biggest... I wouldn't say regret, because I had no choice, but... I wish I could have played online. It would have been very fun. Yeah, I mean, I played a little, um... Re-Ultimate online when that... Or not Re-Ultimate, um... Try. Just base try. The Wii. Oh yeah. The thing is, when uh, when I got try, the online had been taken down, mm. so I couldn't play it on. And the very it's annoying okay, thing was that cool. I had a, a, this weird glitch, where weapon upgrades would be locked, mm -hmm. and I had to go online to unlock them again. But since online was taken down, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of stuck with. Taking the guy Chris down with base bone weapons. Yeah, I've heard some people tell me about that glitch. Yeah, it's terrible. But actually, um, I remember my brother did that as a challenge um, because he wanted to replay Monster Hunter Try. Because back then, that was our first Monster Hunter, and it basically ends with Cedius, which was fun, but, you know, there's no high rank, no G rank, it's just get Cedius and you, you win. Um, and um, so he wanted to play it again. He starts over, and he's, he's good at the game, so he's confident, and he's, like, waiting until he gets somewhere really far before he starts grinding up for an armor set. And um, he got so far as to unlock Lagiacris, and he's still wearing the opening alloy stuff. And I just remember looking at him, and I said... You won't fight Lagiacris in the alloy set. And he just looked at me like this. I have to check the stream. Yeah, I know. But he like he just looks at me like this and just clicks accept quest. And he goes. <laughs> He's just fighting Lagiacris with his alloy armor and like a generic bone hammer. And like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he won. <laughs> it was nuts. I try to read your lips to see when you say he looks at me like this. Mm. You'll tell when I look at the camera. Oh, yep. Oh, the old psycho glare. Yeah, he's like... Yeah, then he just clicks, um... <laughs> accept quest. Oh, he's... he's crazy. This would be the part where I would say an a crazy gaming experience I would have with my brother, if I had one. You know, I don't. Um, that's like the only game, there's very, very few games that my brother and I both played and enjoyed um, with each other. Thing is, I bought Monster Hunter Try, and I kept getting mad because I was like, why? This isn't fair. I went out of my way and paid for this game with my money. And I can't play it because he's always on the Wii playing my game. Oh. Uh. But anyway. Um, yeah, he did play that. Um, I think I remember the only other game that we both played was... 
the last story. I don't know why he played the last story, but he did. Um, he really loved it. Um, which is weird. I was, like, telling him, like, hey, you should play all these other games I was playing at the same time. Like, you would like these, too. He never really gave many a shot. Hmm. Your brother's like me, then. I'm, I'm rarely one to expand my horizons. Yeah, and then when he, when he plays something, he's like, oh, I really love this. This is awesome. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Atomic Thomas. It's like, really play, well, I mean, my brother plays a lot of other games, though, that I don't really care about. But so he's, he plays, um, he plays one thing that's totally out of his comfort level, and he goes all in on it. He loves it. And I'm like, oh, if you like this, you would really love this one. And he won't try it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? The thing is that uh, you kind of get sucked in into the world, into the game's world and stuff. Oh, he, he you... has played a bunch of games, though. It's not like he wasn't there. No, it, I'm... Hey, RNG, uh, how are you doing? Explaining things from my perspective, at least, I get sucked in into the game's world and stuff, and I feel like I'm doing it at dishonor if I move too fast from it. <laughs> so I kind of have to... You will grow out uh, of that when you realize you don't have time. <laughs> time becomes like the most valuable asset in your life. <laughs> uh, it already is kind of be becoming a valuable asset you in my life. You say that, and I said the same thing, and then it's just like, oh god, like I'm going to die. Uh. Get, I'm go. That escalated quickly. I'm going to die. <laughs> I am going to die. There's not enough crap. Like, uh, too many games. Yeah, I'm still waiting on Dishonored. Can't wait to see you play it. Yeah, there's just too many other things. I was like, I gotta do that first. Like, yeah. before I do Dishonored, I want to do. Obviously, I'm finishing Blasphemous. I want to. Um, do Finding Paradise. Um, uh. depending on which one is longer, I'm gonna, I might do Necrosis first. Over Dishonored. Um, I figured Necrosis is short. Narcosis. God, I can't say that. Or is it Necrosis? Oh, whatever. No, it's Narcosis. Okay. I, I'm always gonna say it both ways. Okay, um, you know what? I might be done. For Pete's sake, I might be done. Uh, let's zoom back one more time. Is it this? No, it's the. What did I just do? Oh, shoot. Just undid that. There it is. You do the bad. I forgot all my hotkeys because I'm using the wrong hand. Wait, is Fatalis on. Generations Ultimate. Yeah. Oh, sure. he is? Yeah. <laughs> I'm listening to his okay. soundtrack right now. <laughs> and I just read a comment. 2020 can't get any worse. <laughs> Except that August 2020. Because it was written four weeks ago. <laughs> On the Fatalis video. The only thing I feel like in that... uh. Yeah, now I just have to color it. You know, the color, I'm not as worried about. Now I'm going to leave to make the sketch layer go away. Now we just need to make a colors layer. Alright, um, you know what I might do? It's going to be really cheap. But I'm a really cheap guy. I'm gonna, this is what I was drawing from, by the way. I'm gonna put this in here. Uh, probably crop it down to this. Those are the base flats, and this is not. Um, I'm gonna shrink this. And just kinda use that as a guide to color pick all the colors that I'm gonna need for this. Ooh, purple. Yeah, I'm doing the uh, gr our gravity suit. I love this. Is suit. this the mid tier armor or is it the high end armor? Because I remember you telling me something oh, yeah. about the Varia suit is the mid tier armor, and um, 
power suit is the early, gravity suit is usually your best. Ah. Heck, game. There we go. So the purple is pretty darn prominent all over. Um, basically, if you swap the purple for orange, it's very a suit. In fact, what I could do is um, do the purple on a different layer. And then I could just switch it out for um, the very suit. Well, no, I can't do that because uh, very suit, I don't think, has these. these. See the blue lines coming everywhere? I don't think it looks like that. I'm going to check that uh. real quick. Um, yeah, it's got a completely different design with, like, the giant valves coming out of the, the side of the, um, the shoulder pads. Yeah, it's got circular design. Yeah, it's totally different. Alright, screw it. I'm doing gravity suit only. Alright. The thing I have to get acquainted with when it comes to drawing is perspectives. Uh, well here, I kind of cheated with this because I have a Figma of Samus. Now unfortunately it's her worst suit ever because it's the first one they made. It's the other M very suit, which sucks balls. Though I have seen people recently take that suit, actually I kind of want that picture back up on my own screen. Uh, they take that suit and they like sculpt around it a little bit, like actually put clay and then like to change the shape of it a bit and then repaint uh -huh. it to make Dark Samus because like the shoulder pads are smooth and you could easily re-sculpt the right shape and it looks awesome. I have considered doing that. If I had the money to buy the other Figma they made, which was the uh, Prime 3 suit. They say it's the Prime 3 one, but it honestly just looks like... Um, Let's turn the background layer off. It's a little nuts right now. I can't see. Yeah, let's go back to this. Um, it honestly just looks like your regular Prime outfit. I don't know why they wanted to isolate the difference, but yeah. Just hit me one reason I think Crimson and White are coming to World is because there's a 15th orchestra for White's theme. Nah, they said that Fatalis is the last one. Yeah, they told us he was the last monster. Which, I mean, if any monster is going to be the last monster, it should be Fatalis. Yes, but... I don't know. You know, I would have never been butthurt at all if it weren't for that video. That's the thing. Like, I would have never cared. I'd have been like, oh, Fatalis! Yeah, it makes sense. He yeah. should be... You know, they, I feel like they, they're the ones who shot themselves in the foot. They just tried to hype people, but on accident just gave out the wrong impression. I mean, uh, I try not to get too excited about anything unless the devs 100% confirm it themselves. That's I the remember thing. having I, I this wish the very devs same. Actually, went back and specifically just said, um, like, like when you're doing that part of the video, if it just said like black dragons or something instead of the game, you know, to identify that that's what it was, then no one would have thought this. It was just like. Who, who edited that and thought let's not tell them that this is black dragons you know it just seems really messed up yeah and i remember uh, way back when i remember having an argument with you about no, whether or not it yeah yeah about where whether or not it basically confirms it and you were like oh it bit it <laughs> Well, here's it the thing. I was saying, confirm. if it doesn't, that was a tremendous mistake on their part. That's what I did say. Yeah. And it looks like it was a tremendous mistake on their part. To be fair, um, I don't really care as much about... <laughs> I know this sounds really bad. Monster Hunter, right now, I'm more excited about World. Like, I mean, I've played the crap out of uh, Monster Hunter World, you know, I, I would like to see a new one if, you know, oh, yeah. another one. Um, just because as of right now, I'm much more interested in other games. There's a lot of other stuff coming out right now. There's a lot of really cool old stuff that I just never really got a good chance to play. Um, I just found out now that we're doing this transparent that I, I missed a lot of spots with my inks here, so I'm trying to cover my tracks. Um, but yeah, like, obviously, most importantly, uh, I'm mostly excited about Metroid Prime 4. Um, yeah. That game is just going to be my life when it comes out. Um, 
I hope it has amiibo compatibility because I have every single Metroid amiibo because I'm a freak. Yeah, you know, when the announcement for Metroid Prime 4 comes out, the first thing we're going to do is check your Twitter. <laughs> well, Just to see what you have to say about it. I'm, I'm hopefully going to have a reaction video. Depends on how they show it off. But yeah, um, I feel so bad that I didn't live film the logo because I have never screamed so loud. I was legitimately worried that the neighbors when, were going to call When was this the logo? Just the logo. It was over three years ago. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been a long time. Yeah, very long time. Well, they had to completely and start over, so I mean, it's a, it's an ordeal. All right. Um, yeah, now I'm mostly just excited for Monster Hunter Six. Yeah. Yeah. And as I, I hope we get something fun. about it next year. I think we will. I think that's why they were doing Iceborne to pad out time. Mm -hmm. As opposed to like release a um, a finished G rank product like we would have normally had. Instead they gave us something that's slowly gonna leak out updates so that it maximizes the time and I'm just a little burnt out from that waiting. I'm not a big fan of all of that. Uh -huh. Especially like the kind of crap they're doing right now where it's like, there's a new event quest, but you can only fight it this weekend. Like, okay, well. I mean, to be guys, fair. Busy. To be fair, uh, kind of ev every game is doing something of the sorts. Lately. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right, but they're just catering to the majority, I guess. If that's the majority, I don't know. I There's mean, I, a I, large I, majority I would... of casual players who just never get a chance to see this stuff. I meant conforming to the majority of what teams do. Or probably the the vocalist version, the most vocal of the community. That's usually who they cater to. The whiners. Yeah, you can't really blame them for that, though. It's... Uh... Like, I get that it sucks for people like you and me who play the game casually, but mm -hmm. I mean, at the same time, I, for for example, I don't really tweet out that much at, at Monster Hunter, so how would they know what I want? Yeah, right. That's the kind of would issue. Would they even care? Right, there I think go. they do. I think they do. I honestly think they do care. But, I you think know, they care about the majority. There's some companies that are much, much worse and don't care about their customer base. They care about their uh, no. I think their they investors. care. Monster Hunter, I think they definitely care. Yeah, I. They've made I some think bad they decisions in the world though that don't don't think. Let's be honest. Uh, they could, they could have easily made these DLCs a paid thing, a paid thing. Mm -hmm. But they didn't. So that kind of shows me that they aren't money hungry at least yeah there was no um loot boxing like that they could have yeah. decided to go that route easily with monster hunter and fortunately they didn't i mean it's a loot based game i mean you you know they thought of it but yeah. they fortunately by the time that this was coming out like all the ea activision problems were coming out um people were so outraged by it even ea and activision have changed some of their recent large games, like the new Star Wars game, the new Call of Duty. They don't do this. Yeah, the you new know, Call that of Duty. You know that took a lot out of them. Mhm. Mm so, even companies so that... like that, I, they, they are scummy. They can be really bad, but they're not all that terrible. Yeah. So that at least shows me. They focus on the majority entirely Val Strax would have been in the final update. I don't think so. I think No, I don't think no, so. No, it's definite if it Fatalis is like, I've said this before, the second most important monster in the entire franchise. It's it they definitely made the right decision to put Fatalis in. Yeah, but Valstrax, they weren't planning to. That's the thing. Oh they no, were originally planning. they weren't, which seems messed up. It well, does, but because, I mean I mean it also makes sense, like don't don't 
shoot off all your fireworks at once. You know, you, you've got to sell your next Monster Hunter game. Exactly. So, like, what do you? And think? even from from an Iceborne perspective, at the same time, you don't want. Yeah, like you don't Iceborne... want to over flood your new game with stuff from the old ones. Right. Because in my opinion. who who is going to look at purchasing Monster Hunter Iceborne? They've still been on the fence all this time, and because you put Fatalis in or Valstrax, whoever, then they change their mind. Yeah, Here, Rowan, I mean, another thing about at... fan polls, that's only going to be adjust. like, once again, you're just going towards the vocal minority who's going to, like, dig into that kind of stuff, which is usually going to be the younger community, right? The kind of people who are going to, like, dig into the Twitter accounts and, like, follow them and, like, you know, do the, the um, you know, the polls and whatnot to do that kind of thing so that they get that information. In which case, yeah, the recent one, Valstrax. Of course it's going to be Valstrax. But if you're looking at long-term fans, like what what is the monster to go for? It's it's Fatalis. I don't know who else. No one's even close in importance to the franchise. Or I don't know. I would say like as fun to fight as an endgame boss Elder Dragon. And my favorite one is Dire Morales, and I'll still tell you that. So uh, you can clearly yeah, not the... playing favoritism here. And at the same time, there was kind of a build-up with monsters. You know, at first it started like with mid-tier monsters with like Stygian mm -hmm. Zonogre and Rajang and stuff yeah, but slowly kind of slowly with started... the Baryoth, though. I've I haven't I've still not fought him yet because I just didn't care but I've had people complaining that he is the easiest monster that they have added in Iceborne post um you know Iceborne's launch not like uh not counting like Bonbaro or stuff like that you know what I mean hmm I haven't fought him yet, so I can't tell you. Yeah, just heard lots of complaints. Or people just said like, "Oh, his armor's good," and we're like, "But that, I don't play. I don't play Monster Hunter to build armor sets. I play Monster Hunter to fight monsters. You you build the armor sets to fight the monsters. You know, it's. I mean, to be fair, the armor sets are a part of the game. So at the same time, you do have oh, yeah, to. Yeah, I didn't say they weren't part of the game. Um, oh, these should have been black. Whoops. But yeah, they're part of the game, but like you you need them in the game for the game to function. It's not like it's the goal of the game. You don't buy the game and play the game to yeah, build yeah. an armor set. That's what my point was. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. But yeah, um, no more heroes three would probably be a really great one this year. I know he's really taking his time on it, though we haven't seen too much. Um what else is coming out? I've heard a lot about Spiritfarer, which was an indie game Kim has been paying attention to. Um I've tried getting a code for her, but uh haven't heard back from them. Heard anything about Spiritfarer? I remember seeing it at last year's E3. I was in a channel with you actually. Really? Because I must yes. have forgotten the game. I've been, like, so flooded with indie games and, like, latching on to every little presentation I can get this year just because it's 2020 and it's horrible and I want to see something to be excited about. And the only thing I have to be excited about... I don't even have, like, Smash Brothers telling me exciting characters that I'm waiting for. Is this an Eye of the Tiger ripoff? How did they get away with this? <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Anyway, so, um... I, I was just desperately like, oh, I need something to be excited about, because... Now, I don't know about you, but... For DLC in a Nintendo-based Super Smash Bros. game, you know, I want to see big gaming franchises that are not here get represented. In the last two, ARMS is like, eh, it's there, but it's also a Nintendo one, and it was already in Smash Bros. So, I'm like, uh... I want to see some big, new, crazy stuff. Like, get me excited like you did with Persona and, and Dragon Quest and Banjo-Kazooie. It's like they... they uh, Kim accuses them of this. Kim says that um, Smash Brothers has this really bad um, tendency of giving you and showing you all the really cool stuff early on. And then they're, like, out of good stuff, and they're like, well, I mean, we got this. Because, like, think when they showed off the base roster of the characters, they were like uh, showing, oh, here's um, Ridley, 
King K. Rule, Simon and Richter. And then it starts going downhill a little bit. Oh, Dark Samus. Good lord, how did I forget that? And then they go like, um, Isabel, Ken, Incineroar. And then that was it. it. It ended like that. It was like, wait, seriously? Right when everyone was like, hype was at its max, is when they dropped the ball and they uh, just it released people in the wrong order. I can imagine if they just released in a smarter order and didn't put all the cool, exciting, big name stuff in one stream probably would have yeah. ended up a lot better but and it probably would have never been a conversation so what's once again like it's how you deliver information to, to people it's really important in the order did you do it so like iceborne you need to select you know which monsters you're going to showcase you know when you're going to show them but also make sure that in that case it's not taking too much effort Smash Brothers is going to take a lot of effort because you got to build a new character basically from scratch almost no matter what. They've got to be really interesting to play with because they're going to have to take a long time to develop. So if I'm waiting on something that's just not interesting, I mean, I'm not going to care. Like, I'm going to lose interest in the game. And um, that's the thing. Like If you start losing interest in the game from your DLC, that's, that's the opposite of what you want. And I'm just like desperately trying to grab on to something this year like, oh let me play something let me just see something fun already uh yeah Ronan, i guess you just take a I look, guess take a look at um what spirit fair is um online it's it's a pretty popular game right now i'm glad it's doing so well what were you saying squad uh i guess uh kind of are unlucky because the games you follow are uh, how's that it takes a while for something to come out on them. Yeah, meanwhile, me, I, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, I play games like League of Legends where we get an update every month, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I've but been I waiting know on Metroid for so long. Before um, Samus Returns, we hadn't had a 2D Metroid game in I think was it 14 years or something like that. Something obscene. Yeah, the league is being very gracious this last few months. They're like putting out a character every month. I guess they're just trying to make sure that people don't lose that, uh, you know, that interest in the game that they've built up from playing it in isolation. You know, but like a lot of yeah. online games did really well during this time, and they don't want to lose those new people that they, you know, the new fans. So it makes sense. Yeah, go ham on it. Work so hard. Get those people to stay and. Uh, it's a shame yeah, the that thing like, is... Japan couldn't do this because their uh, culture just, they don't work from home, you know, and they weren't prepared mm -hmm. for it. The thing is that the League is doing something recently which I really like, mm -hmm. is they're taking old characters from uh, uh, champions that are in the game store. So for example, if there's a champion in the game and his lore mentions a brother, yeah, they release that brother as a separate character in the game so it kind of makes it seem because there are characters we've been waiting for to become champions in the game for literally years now <laughs> and so when they introduce them in the game it's like wow this is amazing you know you, you finally get to play it as that character's brother slash father slash daughter slash whatever mm -hmm. Uh, it would be smart of them to put Crash in since Crash 4 comes out next month. The thing is, mm. um, it takes years, and they decide this stuff years in advance. Um, the problem with Crash is, like, he doesn't really have any versatile moveset. He wouldn't bring anything interesting to the table for Smash Brothers, other than wow. he deserves to be there. You're basically just, I mean, like, he can spin around. Yeah, that's about it. Other than that, you'd have to get I really mean, creative with, like, power-ups. It depends. Depends. Like, because the only Crash game I've played is a game on the Wii called Crash of the Titans. And in, in that game, he's... You can, like, take control of other creatures and stuff. Yeah, but... And, of course, they, they add new gimmicks and stuff as the things go on. And they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll have to get desperate for a moveset if they want to do that. But there's so many other franchises that 
really have deserved to be here for a long time. And not recently since we're like, oh, well now anyone can get in. You know, but there's still other ones that really should have been here earlier, a long time ago, and they're still not here. Uh, right now I'm messing with Hammer Editor trying to learn level design, so that's my current video game along with G, uh, G4, or G, 4 u G rank. God, I can't read. Um, i trying to see what this... Gun arm color is a little confusing. Looks like, um... Hold on, I want to see the... Where's that other angle? Oh, I'm so confused. So, like, this thing, I think, is purple. And then the rest is gonna be green. But there's some purple that wraps around, so it might be that part. No, it's gotta be this. Yeah, it's gotta be this. Um, third game, he gets more moves. Personally, I just want him in because I grew up playing the original trilogy. And that's the thing, like, he's, he's like, he's the PlayStation mascot, you know? It's just really cool to have him in. For the same reason that having Sonic the Hedgehog in was, you know, really cool, too, at the time. Um, I just, it, as a, here, Crash is, like, a perfect character to, like, announce and advertise the next Smash game. I don't really see him, like, being really great as, like, a post-game DLC, because other than fans of Crash, you're not really going to see much gameplay usage out of it. Granted, Banjo-Kazooie was similar, but he had a very, very complicated moveset that was very Banjo-Kazooie already, so, I don't know, maybe that, maybe that wasn't a good example, but it's the closest, because all the others are borderline gimmicky. Let me see, there's no purple up there anymore. I think we got all the purple. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see more. There's Actually, if it was up to me, there'd be... <laughs> I actually had trouble even thinking, like, if it was up to me, who would I choose for the final five uh, slots for Smash Brothers? And honestly, I'm still, like, torn on so many because I'm like, oh, I, have to, I can only pick five? And in the end, there can only be five more. So... Oh, only five more left for Smash? Mm-hmm. Unless they um, come out and tell us something that we don't know about the past, yeah. There's only five more coming. Uh, created the strongest creature in existence, a head crab in a chair. <laughs> Man, this year I have to get started on that Uncle Soundboard. <laughs> I really want to make that Uncle Soundboard a reality. Yeah, I don't even remember half the, uh, the, the, the noises, but you know what we could do with it? Whenever, uh -huh. like, because there's a bunch of, like, if someone does this, then this happens in, uh, Streamlabs. Uh, I yes, I... have a lot I... of it turned off, but it, they could all just be different Uncle Soundboard noises. That would be amazing. <laughs> someone would subscribe and it would be like... You know, some days are just some baked days are beans. just baked beans, <laughs> and it'll be like in the middle. Like uh, the reason I'm a little worried, it would be in the middle of something like to the moon, and I'm like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so it's an important emotional scene. Some days are just baked beans. <laughs> oh, I understand. I mean, a lot of Twitch streamers, though. I, I think eventually you'll just get used to not. Yeah, eventually uh. you just ignore it. Well, I won't see it. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I won't see them or hear them. It's only you guys who see and hear them. Mm. Uh, this goes this way. Oh, Uncle Soundboard. Oh, Uncle Soundboard. It's been a while since I've heard of Crystal as well. Yeah, I don't know what's uh, been going on with Crystal. She must be really busy. <sighs> I'm gonna do the, um... Sleg.
I think around this time a year ago you were playing Hollow Knight, if I remember correctly. Really? Yeah, I think it's... But I played that I much in... Well, here, Hollow Knight might have been coming up on the channel, but that was, like, way after I played it. Because Hollow Knight episodes were coming up for, like, ever. But I played it, like, half a year before the episodes finally went up. Which is another reason yep, why I'm transitioning. Yeah, but I remember staying up late at, like, the end of summer. But uh, I could be wrong. I don't doubt it. Because that's where the iconic Go to Sleep squad originated from. We tried getting you to go to bed, but, uh... Can't really do that when the game's just so absurd, or I'm just getting my butt handed to me in a hilarious manner. Yeah. Boy, Blasphemous was doing that to me today. I, I'm also, not paying that much today. attention that to really Blasphemous weird. because... What? It was also glitching today, which was really weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, that I remember. It was like but three not... glitches we found? Mm, I'm not paying that much attention to Blasphemous because I bought the game for myself, so I don't want to be spoiled too much on it. Mm -hmm. To be fair, though... It's one of those, I don't think it matters <laughs> seeing stuff, because the um, the real drive of the game is just how breakneck hard it is. Oh, so it does get hard. Oh, traversal is what's hard. You just need to learn the enemies and get good at them. It's very That's... Dark Soulsy. Yeah, I guess it does take a lot of inspiration from Dark Souls. Even the theme and how everything is set up and stuff. You can instantly tell it's mm -hmm. heavily inspired by the game. Even the soundtrack, Dark Souls soundtrack is pretty iconic. Mm -hmm. So I want to, I really want to see you play it. I wish I can get, get it for you. Yeah, it's even if I had it right now, it would be like one of my, okay, eventually radar things because I've got so many other things. Uh, yeah. And there's other games that I still don't have that would jump immediately to the top. Um, some of them are because they're shorter, and I know it could be like one and done, like, oh, thank god we did it. I uh, did it, I played another game. Good. Here we go, we did it. Let's move on with our lives. But uh. others are just like, I just really wanted to play that, you know. Like, probably Carrion might be the, uh, number one, I would stop everything and just play that immediately. Yeah, you've been mentioning Carrion a lot lately. Well, I had been watching it for over a year, and then it came out, and then, you know, it's still doing well, and I'm like, uh, why am I not playing this? It's like, it's the new Metroidvania thing, which, of course, Blasphemous was the other one on my radar. I did get to Blasphemous, it just forever. Um, what do you think is the strongest monster in Monster Hunter World? Well, White Faith I, Alice. Well, he said world. Oh, world. Um, I mean, Fatalis. I mean, Fatalis is, but he's not in just yet. So if you want to say ignoring Fatalis. Also, I want to say ignoring the all the tempered and arc tempered and all that stuff. Um, in terms of lore or like hardest to fight? Because like, it should probably be um, um, Furious Rajang. No, it's gone. It's a Latrion. What am I thinking? I forgot about a Latrion. I forgot this music. This game was weird. Uh, eyes are hard to draw. I only had to do them on um, Zero Suit. I didn't have to do eyes for... Um this suit, so that kind of helps, but... 
Honestly, um, I've drawn more people than uh, these mech suit things, so it's probably why this is taking me longer than normal to finish it. You know, I can get basically every facial feature down pretty well, except for the eyes. I can never manage to make them look natural. You, you gotta draw them early. Don't draw the rest of the head first. Also, oh, don't do my... this early, this this scrub thing, where um, you intentionally like hide one character's eye with something like their hair, just because you're scared to draw it. Don't do that. Yeah, I used to kind of be guilty of doing that. Yeah, a lot of lost. people do that. I used to do that when I was in high school. Flats today. Flats just don't take that long. Oops. We were talking about something, and we should keep talking about something. What are we talking? Other games. Oh yeah, I kind of brought that up in the last stream too. Just a a stupid amount of other games I want to play. Yeah, we ranked them based on how soon you'll be playing them, right? We tried. We didn't really get a rank out of it. I mean, I got an idea, but it didn't really clarify. <laughs> um, oh, one of them I did take from that, though, was um, I let Kim, because it was basically just for Kim, play um, uh, Stanley's Parable in her spare mm -hmm. time. So I might eventually do a video on Stanley's Parable, but as of now, yeah, I don't need to play that myself. Um, what is on the inside of the hip? Uh, I can't see. How did I even know there was an inside of the hip? Oh, I had a note from this one. It's yellow. All right. Way bigger. Oh god, my head. I still gotta work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You work Damn, on su Sundays as well? Um, it's random when I work. Uh. Yeah. It's all it's all sorts of different schedule. That's why this last week I was kind of freaking out. I was like, oh, I don't have time. But I need to... Um... Oh, shoot. Is that supposed to... Like, oh, I don't have time, but I somehow need to make um, all my entire Playing With Myself video in one day just because of when my schedule lined up with everything. You know, it's just a problem. Talk about something. Oh yeah, I'm just concentrated now that I've. <laughs> so you started White Fatalis? No, uh, I I'm not really good at drawing dragons and stuff, so yeah, I just reverted all to more drawing. Reason if... to try it. I really like yeah, but... them. I'll probably get to that when I get to Ridley, which shouldn't be for a while. I need to work on my comic next, so. Um, if I'm working on another Metroid thing, like a Ridley, before you see me do in a comic, after, of course, the Samus is finished, you stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there. That should be the purple. I don't know, I forgot that it didn't put. Yeah, I really want to read your comic. Yeah, so did a lot of other people, and I just don't have the time to 
get the darn thing up there. It takes so much time. Like, it's a pain in the butt to publish anything on Kindle. Maybe once I have it figured out, I can get into a process and it'll only take me like an hour for each one, but... Ugh. Hey, Bartman, how you doing? Right now, we are working on filling in the colors for various suit Samus. And Squad is joining me. And yeah. um, what are you drawing, then? Just a human face. A human face. A human fuss. Human fussa. Uh, what do you think of Kraids? This was the characters requested. Yeah, I saw that. I just didn't. I didn't want to like flood it with uh, comments. Like every time, yeah, you, know, you work on something, I'm like, oh, I don't want to be that guy and keep talking over everything. But yeah, I thought Kraid was really cool. Kraid is one of those that like, no matter what, when you draw him sideways, he looks really strange because he has three eyes and one's in the middle. And the one in the middle, it always looks like his two eyes are on one side. Like he has two eyes on one side like that. So it's just. He's he's tough to get right. I thought he looked really cool. There we go. I got that red. Red is gonna be almost. Yeah, I here. I'm just in love with the realistic stuff. With what? The realistic stuff. Cause uh, he has a way of drawing uh, the monsters in a really like creepy slash realistic light, and it's just amazing. Supposed to be black, and so are these. Oops. Yeah, I I actually used to draw like that on purpose. Like I made a bunch of um. I had a book where I was like inventing creatures and uh, just drawing all sorts of like uh, you know creepier, real-looking versions of stuff. I don't know, eventually I just... It's probably just because I had comics I wanted to work on, and um, detailed and realistic is not something you want in a comic. Yeah. You have I to draw so. it a lot. But me, I'm a, I'm a sucker for drawing stuff realistically. I've always liked drawing stuff in a realistic light. I think it's Fantasy monster stuff hunter. or just stuff that is real in real life. Both. I like uh, still lifes, for example. Oh, yeah. I I'm adore doing still lifes. But I also like seeing if I can take something out of fantasy and making it look realistic. That's kind of the thing. That's my goal in learning how to draw and stuff. I want to be able to do stuff like that. To like grab, for example, uh, Fatalis and draw him hyper realistically. Mm -hmm. Whoops. What, did Rowan ask me to do a white Fatalis? I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, you know, Fatal. I kind of like, like regular. If I was gonna work on one, White's very cool though. They're all really cool. Mm -hmm. None of them are uncool. Fatalis just passed the Alex school test. Like now. Except when the only thing cool about him in the world is that uh, he's here. We don't know anything else yet. I can only hope that he's like the most fun thing to fight ever. Because that's the point of the game. The game should just be prioritize how fun it is to fight the monsters. Look, I'll be completely 100% honest with you. Mm -hmm. I think it's more good news that they didn't tell us anything about it. 
I hope. Because if, because know, if they did introduce... Yeah. Because if they did introduce a new gimmick, obviously they'll need to tell everyone how to go around it. You know, like how they did with Eschaton okay, Judgment. so yeah, you're using this as proof that there is no silly Eschaton Judgment. Yes. You know, um, that is a good point. I hope you're right. But since there was so much story, uh, and they focus on the story as if as if a single person was actually excited for that, then, yeah, like, oh, by the way, this one, Ace Cadet, we knew. Nobody likes Ace Cadet. You, you pick the most irritating, cringy character of the last game that nobody liked. And but, you know, I like the continuity of it. I like the continuity of it, but why didn't it happen with literally anybody else? <laughs> you know? Also, they're not gonna kill anybody. They don't kill people. Or do they? They've there never is done always. It yet. And even if they did, like, it. Are you gonna care? Like, I don't know. Also, since they did it like this, there's clearly gonna be, like, a. A quest where you go to see the monster, you fight it for a little bit, basically repel quest, and you run away, you leave, and then you gotta go back with a group and kill it. I mean, if they... They're paying for a lot for, uh, you know, getting people to do their voice acting and all that stuff, and motion capture. This, these things take a long time, and a lot of money. Yeah. And I see that, and I'm like, but why are you pouring your money there? Your story isn't good. Like, do you guys know? I mean, your story at the same isn't time, good. At the same time, though, it may be just something they want to get better at, so... If they want to get better at it, they just need to hire a better writer. You know, they're spending a lot of money on this. And I'm like, guys... Now, it's a lot of bang for your buck, for 30 bucks. Absolutely. I, I can't believe that they price it so low. That's great. But you're gonna invest that much time into, you know, trying to advertise it like that's the big thing. You know, then no, you needed a better writer to do that. Drawings aren't meant to be completely realistic. Otherwise, a lot of them would look uh, very different. It's just like adding a little anatomy to them. That's yeah, mostly I what I was going there's... for when I did stuff like that too. I was just trying to figure out how their anatomy would work. That's what I did when I made like um, lots of mythological creatures, like when we did the uh, Tarask with uh, Rowan, stuff like that. That I, I I did a lot of those back in the day, things like that. So I had a comic, and you say had, but it still exists. And you could read it, maybe eventually. Um. Get um, how about yellow? Right, so yellow is in a few places. Yellow is gonna be on the arm. This piece. Oops. Oops, I failed. You know, I'm mostly just very surprised it's already September. Like, this was a crappy year, but man, it went by fast. Not for me. I, I still remember you making that video, the videos on what was in your backyard. Yeah, that was just last year, I think. I was surprised. I was like, wow, that's already been a year. Yeah, I, I miss videos that. like those so much. Stupid blogs. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to do more, but, you know, it's just... <sighs> yeah, time. Yeah. Alright, is there any on this spiky thingy? It's really hard to see it. Probably not. Uh, no, but that ring at the top is yellow. Oh god, which one? I think it's this lowest base. There we go. I 
think that's all the yellow on that, and the rest of it's gonna be a uh, tealish green color. Right, we got a yellow, a lot of yellow on the back. Rather a decent amount. So I'm curious, Squad, what is the last Pokemon game you played? Last Pokemon game, uh, I believe it was Alpha Alpha Sapphire, I think. Mm -hmm. No, no, it was Sun Moon. It was Moon, yeah. Because I remember you know, I was shiny hunting. Ch yeah, I was hunt shiny hunting Charmander. And uh, when I shiny hunt, it's kind of goes in phases where I may hunt maybe one and two shinies, and then I take a massive break. Then mm -hmm. I suddenly get the urge to shiny hunt again. Then I do it. And I remember you were the one who was, uh, gave me the idea to hunt Charmander. Yeah, Charmander was my first one I hunted. I really liked finally getting that thing and then um every shiny after that's basically chasing that um you know gambler's high yeah but yeah that um that charmander was so much work yeah my i haven't had much luck with shinies either yeah i basically Reason. just go over odds is all i do same here I wonder if this is just going to be sound effects from here on out. Well, that's actually a song. Oh, there's oh, so much well. more to go, though. It's already 1am here. Phew, yuck. Um, it'd be weird how many people are hoping he doesn't die and calling him their homie? I immediately questioned everything. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? You right? know, I actually don't want him to die. I don't want him to die because then he'll get glorified. I hate him. I want him to suffer by being a nobody like he is. Aw, uh, I actually kind of like him. No! <laughs> no! Don't like him. You're not allowed to like him. Oh. He's too oh, okay stupid. then. I don't like him. You know, if He's they brought back other characters, I probably wouldn't be so angry. You know, like... Why I think it's him? because they want to give him his time to shine. Yeah, but he's the worst character they made, ever. They're like, anybody else. Anybody <laughs> else. Handler. Guildmarm. Yeah. Oh, I... I hate the Handler with a burning passion. Yeah, I don't know who doesn't. I, I I'd much rather the Fatalis story, and that's why there's so much hype. Yeah, Fatalis is just really cool. You get the stupid clock to hang on this wall. All it does is land on the uh, head crabs and not spin to the wall. Snap. Snap to the wall. It should show us what this thing looks like. Cause I'm I'm trying to imagine this thing. So did anybody see my playing with myself episode that basically destroyed my life for a week? Yeah, I've left it on a tab open, but I haven't watched it yet, no. Uh... Alex just wants to be called Doodle again. Oh. No. Guildmarm was just a better character. Like, th there's no character to the handler other than she is cringy and says cringy things. That her is That is her entire character. I really want to see what you did with the green screen, though. Oh, I did several things with the green screen. I really like the skits you do in the beginning of the Playing With Myself episode. Yeah, they, they've they kind of turned into skits nowadays. They used to just be like a legitimate introduction of get the two to talk about this game. And sometimes it is that, when there is a conversation I'm trying to drive home. But the others, I'm like, nope, we're doing a skit. Because I just like doing skits. Yeah, skits are fun. 
Yeah, this one is a big time skit, and it was a lot of work. Yeah, we're talking about Black Mesa uh, playing with myself, which Squad still hasn't watched. Don't judge me. So much work put into that one. Yeah, yeah I'll watch it. Because usually I watch uh, I watch playing with myself while I'm doing something else. I like leave it running on my second monitor. Yeah. There's a lot of visual gags I do in there too, and it, it blows by quickly too, but still, that works. No, I still watch it, it's just on my second monitor. Oh, I got you, yeah, yeah. Second monitors. I got one of them too. Okay, try not to cringe, but for example, uh, while I'm playing Minecraft. Ugh. Hey, at least I it's tried. not Fortnite. I okay. tried. Yeah, it's not Fortnite. Alex, look at the T-Grex! <laughs> I'm gonna get some more light in here. Oof. Um, Squad, I'm surprised you weren't a fan of your main character coming back in world. For the Huntsman. When you say the FU guy, Freedom that Unite. So the Freedom Unite guy. Do you mean like that the retired hunter? Because I didn't know that. It also doesn't really make a lot of sense that he's like a yeah, because... retired dude. Yeah, because he was retired. Mm -hmm. uh, he was retired. Got to retire. I assumed it of... was a different person, and it was just like yeah, I mean... another hunter just years later. Because it doesn't make sense for it to be him. But and even still, like, it, like that doesn't mean anything, you know, like. They don't go anywhere with the story, even if it is the same characters. It's the same thing as, like, what good does, you know, the Ace Cadet being in this game do if they don't do anything with the story? It's like, they don't know how to write a story. They can create characters, but they cannot do anything interesting with them, and that's what bothers is that me so much. Is that confirmed, though, Ronan? I don't know if that's confirmed. Yeah, because... I got a feeling it isn't confirmed, because they went out of their way to basically finally let us know for sure that yes, um, Ace Cadet, or what's his name? Ace Cadet and yeah, Ace, Ace, what's his name in World? Uh, something Fiverr. Yeah, I don't care. It's the same guy, that's all they were doing. That's man, I love Freedom Unite. Do you love it just because it's the first one you played? I mean, yeah, it has that nostalgia factor to it, and obviously I'm gonna be yeah. biased towards it. Like like the way you're biased with Metroid, for example. Not biased well, per se, Metroid's just... Metroid's an entire franchise that I love. That's a little different. Um, maybe I'm biased towards Monster Hunter Try, and I'll look past a lot of its faults just because... It's Try, and I love Try because it's the first one I played. So, probably that same way. Yeah, I just loved Unite so much. And hey, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Unite right now. Why is that? Monster Hunter is what brought me to this channel. Ah, uh, here, here. Yep. Yeah, I feel kind of bad I'm not playing a lot of stuff that um, are the kind of things that let people discover the channel, you know, because that's what, like, Pokemon and Monster Hunter did. Monster Hunter didn't do it for a long time, so I never really know. I just kind of play stuff. Because Hey, it, look, it's Mr. Ronan. It just turns out I got later. bored of typing and nobody's here, so <laughs> I decided to hop in. Nobody's Fourth, here? Squad, we're not very important. Now somebody's here. Make way for somebody. No. no. <laughs> I'll just leave. I'll just leave if this is the case. <laughs> Bunch of Hello, Mr. Somebody. Yeah, somebody. Um somebody yes, once uh, once told me. 
salsa and macaroni. You know what? I, I'll just, I'll just strike back, uh, Alex. I'm gonna just go grab some pudding. Pudding. <laughs> some delicious, uh, delicious big thing of pudding. <laughs> and then nobody will be here for a while, but pudding will return. So, I, you know what? I think that is a risk we're willing to take. Meh. Pudding. pudding. The word pudding is so weird. Pudding. pudding. La pudding. The advantage of this not being a Black Mesa stream and the fact that nobody is here is I'm just walking around the house doing this now. Yeah. <laughs> but And Alex isn't frantically yelling every two seconds. Rowan, stop giving me bad directions! And now his microphone well, is more, actually good. More belated directions. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I guess to say from earlier, it, it's similar to how people figured out um, the thing with Ace Cadet, like, because if you talk to him, you can figure out that he's the guy from Pretty Me Night, because it's his, it's like, you can figure out the character if you just talk to him. His his old adversary is Teostra, he has no idea how to use a slinger, uh, he, he pretty much uses all the same moves, like, from Freedom Unite, he has the same gear from the intro cutscene that the Master Rank... Uh, yeah, but RG why would his old adversary be Teostra? Because why? Teostra was one of the main... Uh, was one of the main, like, Elder Dragons you'd fight in the village. I still think that's coincidental until they yeah. prove it. Okay. I'd like the theory, but... The, same here, but... The real problem with it is... Even if it is, like, why don't they ever do anything with it? You know, like, tell a damn story. <laughs> well, I guess with the Ace Cadet, at least, they're doing a little bit. If you, if you notice, um, in the stuff they showed off in the trailer, he's wearing uh, Kushala armor. Yeah. And if they're expanding on his, if they're expanding on his uh, story, you can guess why he's wearing Kushala armor. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a story, like. I mean, they, they, I feel like Monster Hunter it's just, just wants oh, yeah, to no, write... I they agree. want to write lore. They don't want to write a story. And they're good at writing lore. They're good at implying stuff. But they're not good at telling stories. And I just want them to do it so bad. Mainly it's just yeah, because, like, the... World gave me everything else that I needed from Monster Hunter, so I'm spoiled. And this is, like, the last thing that they just seemed completely inept at doing. And then when they go off and showcase, you know, their newest monster hunter um update and they're like story yeah and i'm like but your story sucks I'm, i don't know how i'm supposed to be excited you know yeah i think the best story um doing air quotes um yeah they they ever did was probably the stuff with gore yes but... i think four for sure was their best at doing a story not just with the story with gore which was much more interesting than anything else they'd done but also <laughs> how you progress to different locales throughout the journey and you feel like you're actually getting somewhere and you're doing something for people and what you're doing matters. That's like the first thing for a game story that has to happen. What you're doing needs to matter. That was like the first step. And then they went back in the world and it's like, another big monster appeared. You should kill it. And then it just- Yeah. Happened. Hit it till it dies! Hit it till it Booyah. dies! The game! And, like, uh... And I, I didn't care at the time, so I was like, Oh, it's so pretty, the game looks so good! But eventually that, you know, falls out. It's been years now, so, I'm like, eh. The weirdest thing about their story is that, like, they're all excited because of the new world and everything. Yeah. But if you actually look back, if you actually look back, Every new area they've discovered in the Monster Hunter world has always been referred to as the New World, yeah. even all the ones on the main continent. Yeah. Like, uh, do you remember the Great Forest uh, squad from Freedom Night? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That was the New World for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. And there's technically like an entire other continent to the south that also hasn't been explored. These I think people it's called, are like... practically cavemen, though. Yeah. So. True. True. 
it probably makes sense if Monster Hunter 6 t either took place on a different part of uh, New World Continent Gen 5 or uh, or that other continent that I think has a name, but I don't think anybody's been there yet, so. Other than maybe Y variants. Y variants are everywhere. Well, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Even still, like. It's just lore! <laughs> Tell a damn story! Lore. Like, I don't care where they go. They can go back to an old area for all I care. They can have a Monster Hunter game with five monsters in it. Tell a good story. It's like, you know, for Pokemon. You know, you can have a, a, an outstanding Pokemon name game, and their problem is, like, you know, their, their gameplay, and there's a lot of problems with Pokemon, but anyway, just to shorten it down. If they had just focused on that and compromised, like, okay, let's cut, like, you know, 90% of the Pokedex and make a really solid game with an awesome, you know... Uh, story and gameplay and it, it actually functions the way we intended it when it launches people would freaking love that game they'd go ballistic for that same thing I, Monster I think it'd be cool if well, those are green sorry those are green I'm sorry I, I'm listening I'm just realizing I had the wrong color grab oh I was just gonna say that um, it'd be cool if they did a Monster Hunter game that took place in the past uh, yeah, because well, that's when that's when all the stuff goes down. That's when all so. the interesting stuff happened, yeah. But you know, there is the the idea that like, you know, like it's really cool when you're playing three or something, and you look around and you realize that you're playing in like what was previously sunken ruins. And you're like, whoa, that's weird. What is all this? So like, the lore part is cool. They don't have to like go to the past to tell a good story. The past has all the good lore, but I think that's a different thing. I also think a fun idea, like, this isn't really story related, this is just, like, current Monster Hunter related. Mm -hmm. If they made a, oh, shoot. This a remake, cool. if they made, like, a remake of Monster Hunter 1, but, like, in the current or next engine. You know, I, I was thinking of that. Um, I was also kind of hoping that's, you know, I don't want to keep going back to Pokemon, but they, they have a similar problem. I was thinking that's what, what uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were going to be. And they kind of were, but not in the way that it needed to be. Uh, but yeah. It was kind of Hunter... like a worse Pokemon Yellow. Uh, I, mm, I don't know about worse. It's just different. It's got its own problems. It's... Uh, ugh. Yeah. It's not as bad as Sword and Shield, but yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I, I really hope they don't keep doing remakes. Anyway, yeah, but Monster Hunter, I don't see why they need to remake anything because they've never done a good, successful story ever. So I don't see any reason for them to do it. You know, no one's... People aren't nostalgic to the game stories. They're nostalgic to the monsters that appeared in the games that they like. You know, like, um, you're going to get me hyped for a new Monster Hunter by showing like Yakris is in it, not the Moga Chief, right? So, well, I was just thinking, like, Monster Hunter 1 is, like, practically dead at this point, because to even get to the end point, um, all the end game content, uh, you need the online servers, and the online servers are gone, so, um, it would just be cool, like, because it would be very, it would be a small project, it's not a large game, so you could easily just, like, redo well, it with the new graphics, release it and, for, like, 30 bucks or something? Yeah, they could easily just make it, like, a small side project, well, like, here, um... uh... Who, who's not made yet in world? Uh, Yonkutku, Velocidrome. Um, Basically just, yeah, Gravios. Gravios. But the skeletons are all there, so it, it works. Yeah. It, it wouldn't be too much. Um, and Viserios would be easy because rock. <laughs> yeah, what might, what might be easier, or maybe a better justification of a Monster Hunter 6... Um, is, um, I know it would be terrible, but if it was, like, basically a monster under the old world, and, um, it was, like, you could travel, basically generations but fixed. If you could go and travel to different towns, and there's different stories through each one that are, like, post what happened, 
in what little story we had before, but they actually get like some impactful story to them, but you can visit all of them and you go through their quests and maybe you have a reason for traveling to each one instead of just, you know, pop the incessant dialogue balloons and listen to the next person. You know, maybe there's like some interconnected story like what happened before where you gotta go to these places and you talk to these people and there, there's a reason for going to protect them from the next thing. You know, maybe you need, um, ships or you gotta sail somewhere and you end up crashing on Moga and then you, you have to go back and you go to Hearth and um, there's so much you could do. Uh, you go to Kokoto because, you know, you, maybe you need a, a very particular monster part or something. I don't know. I'm making Or the ever-forgotten Jumbo Village. <laughs> Jumbo Village. Well, it's, it's only in Monster Hunter Dose and yeah. it never shows up again. Mm -hmm. Something I was always curious about is um, Yukimo, because not because like I, I think Yukimo is pretty well done and uh, for Portable Third and everything. Yeah. But something I was always curious about it is that Portable Third is a base game. It's not a G. It's not a G rank game, or it's not an Ultimate version. Mm -hmm. Like theoretically, it could have had one, and I'm curious what would what would that have been. Like, because. They instead focused on, like, three ultimate and all that stuff. But I don't think, like, if they continued production with uh, portable third G or whatever it would have been, I don't think it would have had the same endgame monsters as three ultimate because a lot of them are more catered to three ultimate. And it would probably be more, like, Yukimo-style monsters, like maybe some kind of, like, I don't know, rare species Zenogre or, like, a, an Amatsu subspecies or something like that. Maybe. I, I just always thought that was interesting to think about. Alright, I think... Uh, uh, I'm going to turn my background layer back on now. I don't know if I need this in here anymore for color picking. Probably don't. Oops, let's not delete that. That's the wrong one. That's my colors. Uh-ohs. That would that would suck if I got rid of my colors. That's anyway, we're big getting there. We just need to get the uh, shadows and highlights. <sighs> How many streams ago did you start this? Um, two? I mean, like, I didn't stream the entire thing. Um... But yeah, um, it's been a while. I've also been taking my time. Because this is... Oh no, yeah. This is huge. This is poster size. You can see the... This is 16 inches by 20 inches. So it's... If I wanted to, I could just print the whole thing. Um, let me see. What am I going to... Oh, Rowan. If only we're here for the type no. Ugh. Got weird lighting here. I'm going to open the... Uh, yeah, did you have how many trouble drawing ago it or did you something? Start this? Like forty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I remember. What happened just... with that? Uh... I was shiny hunting for this stupid Pokemon. Like the only reason I was doing it, the only reason was because it's one of those you only get one of them in the game. So I was like, well, I might as well reset in front of him. And God, it was. Awful. Also, it didn't help that his shiny was really subtle. And, um, you have to go oh, through so a, a ton one. of dialogue to get it. I went through thousands of them. I don't remember yeah, how many thousands. Took, it took more than a year. Yeah, we never got it, too. Yep. Aww. Mm -hmm. I miss That's shiny awesome. hunting streams sometimes. You know, um... I kind of do, but at the same time, I really don't. It's just because of how bad Pokemon fans are. Mm. They're terrible. I'm going to try and... Uh... I think this is what I did for... Highlights, I made like a really big soft brush 
and then we'll go like bam and then basically erase all the spots that I didn't want to see that Hey Alex. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have two questions. One kind of mundane and one project related. Okay. Um, the mundane one is, I haven't looked at your game list in a while. Uh, do you have any multiplayer games on there? Because I've always, I always felt like I missed the era of your multiplayer streams, or at least like I, I've never had like the system to play any of them on. So I'm wondering like if you were gonna ever play any multiplayer games because. I always thought it'd be fun to hop in on one of those. I mean, he is planning to play No Man's Sky soon. I know you do have that. Yeah, Rowan got it for me. But the thing is, um, about that, uh, we still don't know if I can even stream it. I hope so. But yeah, um, oops. If well, if you have two monitors, it might be possible. I... Is that really what the problem was? It might be. Um, like like I said, I have limited hardware to work with in terms of figuring it out. So I tried my best, but I, I'm not probably the best person <laughs> to figure that out. Other than No Man's Sky, are there other than No Man's Sky, are there any other like multiplayer games that were on the list? Right now, um, I don't think so. Well, here, um, I know this will make Squad excited. I have um, prepared a a mod version of Freedom Unites where you can play it online with like setup servers you can customize thing is like the only people who can play with me are the ones who go through all this process um at this rate i don't remember who even got it for me i was gonna do it a long time ago and then the thing is by the time um and i should get rid of my background here so i can see wait does squad have it i will get it though. that's the thing i need to figure out how those files work um, so I can give it to people. Um, because I think I am gonna have to end up redistributing it, and then I can get in trouble because I'm not supposed to do that. Um, and oh, also, no problem. like, Squad I, just re I physically <laughs> own it, so, like, I would be like, okay, this is fine. Like, whenever I physically own a game, and I'm pretty sure that is how it legally works. If you physically own a game, you're permitted to emulate it. I think. But I would basically have to emulate the game, legally. Um, and then I can play it. Because, like, I, people pointed out I have, like, the most complete Monster Hunter Let's Play series on YouTube. Thing is, Freedom Unite would be a little weird because, like, I would still do live streams multiplayer, but I would also be doing, like, you know, uh, a super weird version where um, I'm doing that, but I'm also... How do I even describe this? Like, I'm going to be making episodes out of it you know kind of like you did with generations ultimate kind of so yeah that's that's one um in terms of that i had other multiplayer games i wanted to play on the channel but somebody didn't give me my keys i'm not about hurt um no, so I ended up, uh, let me see, one of them wouldn't have actually been multiplayer online multiplayer. It would have been local, couch co-op kind of thing. Um, uh, Streets of Rage 4, mainly because Kim was a big fan of the uh, old ones and she played them. And uh, she wanted to play the new one just because it was the new one. But a friend of ours got it. We'll probably play it with them at one point and that'll be the end of that. And uh, Street it's a really short game. Um, I talked her into getting River City, which she's really loving. Um, we have been playing that multiplayer, of course. Um, Smash Brothers is one that people have been requesting that I get back into streaming again, and I'd, I'd like to, but, you know, it's just, there's so many things right now that, like, I'm prioritizing stuff that I can finish, like, a Let's Play playlist of, 
You know, even if it's a stream thing, like Blasphemous. I, I'm just trying to finish those up. And most of the time, multiplayer games, they just don't have that kind of, uh, I don't know, like, just the purpose. You know, like, I can't really put them up there, and, like, you know, there's no... I don't know, there's not much to watch. Um, I don't know. And also, it's the kind of thing that, like, oh, I was going to play this anyway. Um, there is some Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate I have to get back and do. In fact, I was planning on streaming it today instead of doing this, but I wanted to do this. Dang it. Ooh, Dem Lights. <laughs> Dem Lights is looking good. Um, I got to put the, the darkened parts in there, too, to, like, really emphasize that glow. But Dem, Dem Ding's looking good. Um, oh yeah, also the project-related question. Uh, do you have, or is there any way for you to acquire, like, the files for the Black Mesa live streams? <laughs> so I can, uh, otherwise oh, I could just right, record them individually. That. Yeah, um, because I would have to do the I same. Could, okay. I could use OBS to individually record, record. Every no, single okay. Black Mesa that. live stream. Okay. Um, <laughs> have you? Okay, I have. I have. I have a way around this. Um, have you used your uh, trial for YouTube Red? Uh, no. Okay. Um, if you do the trial, you're permitted to download YouTube videos. Okay. But and then make sure as soon as you do it, go in the settings and tell it don't renew. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Because otherwise, it's it's like Amazon. They're like, we want your money now. I've done. Uh, don't worry. I've messed with free trials many a time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I was thinking of starting that fairly soon. I've been kind of distracted lately. I've been. I recently like applied to a new job. Or I did an interview for the new job. Um, I've been doing a lot. I've been trying to get back into YouTube a bit more, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, what year of school are you at? I'm out of school. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, so you trying to find like a new full time thing or what? Like what? It's just a busy situation. I'm I'm like caught between a, a million part time things. So. Uh, if you want to never sleep again, uh, make yourself your own boss, because you'll never stop working. Oh. Um, I, I just live in a really good place for, like, so here's the thing, right now I still live with my mom and my brothers, because I still help out, because it, I like That's helping out, I like driving them, I like driving them to, uh, to my little brother's part-time job and to all their practices and stuff. I like being a That's good fun. older brother. Um, yeah, if I, but, uh, if I could even stand my parents, then I would be in there too. But anyway, so, yeah, I sorry, also I live in this, um, oh no, it's fine, I get it, it makes sense. Um, <laughs> but this apartment also is just really good in general, so even when my mom eventually moves out, because she's looking for a place, um, this apartment is, uh, a thousand dollars a month. Ooh. So even if I got even if I got one roommate, it would end up being five hundred dollars instead. So even just a steady part time job can cover it. Uh, it's a lot. It's though. two bed, uh, no, three bedrooms, one bathroom, large kitchen, like I don't know, a few miles of like, uh, or not few miles, but like a very very large yard, um, with a lot of like backwoods and magic. stuff. Well, like, it, you can go out for a few miles in terms of, like, going into the forest and stuff, because New it, um, because we're in New Hampshire, so forests are everywhere. Um, thick, um, yeah, just, t uh, what's it called? Temperate forests? Yeah. Yeah. I was even wondering, like, wow, is this, like, the cost of living really high there, so you make a stupid amount of money when you work or something because like i don't know there's not very many places you can live at here that are a thousand a month that people can feasibly like work at well let's see the minimum wage in vermont um is like 12 bucks an hour now and that's minimum wage that's, that's um, a lot higher than here and in new hampshire it's like 850 
Mm. But the thing is, I also live on minimum wage. I have a master's degree. I, I work on, or not work, I, I live on the um, border. Mm. Uh, if you ever heard of like the Dartmouth College region, I'm like in that kind of area. Uh, I live in Malta. <laughs> yes. yes. We do. have Sunny here. You have Sunny and we has no money. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of funny. It's funny. It rhymed. We did a do. <laughs> we did a do. We did a do. We... Yeah, that's kind of just a long winded way of me saying that. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of just hanging out doing part-time jobs, and, uh, or right now I'm getting a new part-time job, and I'm also, um, just figuring out in the long term, I'm thinking of maybe becoming, like, I'm trying to become good at level design. That's my whole thing. I never plan to go to college because I never want to get in that amount of debt. <laughs> I have nowhere near that amount of money. Well... Never see it again. <laughs> Problem, it won't come back. Yeah, that's... If you can uh, self-educate yourself and then just, like, make your own projects that um, showcase what you can do, then go right for it. The only problem is I know in the video game industry there's been a lot of... Um, corrupt companies that are like mistreating their uh, employees and it, it's almost everywhere lately i would be cautious um, in that regard but of course they're not well thing is that's them. that's not a primary thing for me so um my general ideology when it comes to life is i don't really aspire to be anything as long as i can live a mundane life in an, even if i was just living in an apartment for my entire life as long as i can just be content just doing things day to day. I don't aspire to be anything more. I don't need to grow. I can just stay, I guess. <laughs> I like being simple. <laughs> yare yare. Muda muda. Oh yeah, Alex, is your P.O. box gonna stay the same as, like, as it's approaching the holidays again and I should start doing Rowan things? <laughs> yeah, it's the same. What's Rowan things mean? <laughs> Actually, uh, I feel bad about it, because, like, not a lot of people have even gotten a chance to use the P.O. box this year. Why am I not drawing on anything? Um, what can't I see? The... No, I'm gonna do the same amount of Christmas stuff and, oh, like, the holiday stuff. I gotta start baking. It's almost Thanksgiving season, so I've gotta start like, or not Thanksgiving oh, season, God. but like, it fall around here is harvest season. There's lots of farms, so I'm always like, I bake a lot. You bake a lot. Yes. That's I can make more colosh. I can make like seven colosh if you wish. Maybe Kim could actually have one. You know, there's um. <laughs> <laughs> I hear none of that. I was like, this is mine, we have no food. Why is this I was consider you know, I I'm considering just sending you maple syrup and pancake mix. <laughs> no, that's something that like, we, we we can easily just nab around here, it's okay. No, I mean like so, local um, like fresh made you know, maple syrup, here, like um, a big jug of it. This will sound weird, but um, wait like two weeks. Let me look at the calendar. What do you mean? I'm not doing this now. I know. I, 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 like I, 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 hold on. Let, let me finish. I know what you mean. It, wait like at least one week, maybe two, and you're going to completely change your mind about stuff that you might want to send later. You will have a new idea, and so will a lot of other people. I've had this idea for like months. <laughs> I, I I know. Very very few people know what I'm referencing, and I'm not talking about it yet. Um, in fact, I think Squad might know what I'm talking about, so I don't want to make. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm. 
trying to keep my mouth shut. I'm not supposed to say anything yet. But still, like, there's... Oh, anyway, we should just... What? Change the I'm subject. Uh, uh, okay. uh, do, you want me to, do you want me to send a white-tailed deer to poop on your lawn? I, there's oh plenty of those God. around here. The freaking deer. You know, they're still pooping in my yard. It's not as bad, but like... <laughs> I remember the ominous music. <laughs> 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 I, the neighbors are all looking at me like I th I throw this light up in my tree, and oh god, I've actually got like I know it's it's even crazier, maybe it's less crazy. I've got a a, a light um that hangs in the back now, and um it is specifically um for um god what's it, 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 God, it's, it's a ring. It's a, one of those ring things, but it's a back door thing with where the lights turn on and it'll record stuff when it sees it back there. So I'm sure they're like, oh, we don't know what's wrong with that Alex guy, but God, he went and did it again. Now now he's watching whatever weird stuff he wants to watch back there. But Yeah, I remember the deer disco party. <laughs> Poor Acro. Uh, I'm just looking at the comments. Um... Akra says, I almost got hired for a dinosaur-themed comic, but the project didn't get enough funding to be made. Oh, oh. That'd have been so cool! Which is so sad. He's so good at them. He's so good at the uh, yeah. drawings, too. That would have been really great. That would have been Dude, I, really great. I follow you on Instagram. I get all your new stuff all the time. Uh... Hey Alex, remember when you were supposed to draw a deer pooping a Pepe? <laughs> I think I was supposed to do that if we reached a certain yeah. threshold or something. We didn't do it. That that was sad. That was a relief. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I wanted to see a deer pooping a Pepe. <laughs> Memes of 2019. Yeah, and the Uncle Milk as well. Oh yeah, I was gonna make an Uncle Milk logo and make it my icon. Ugh. No. <laughs> yes. No. That would have been amazing. Here, I'll make a goal right now. If if this video, or if this live stream gets 50 likes, I will, um, I will ding dong ditch Thomas. <laughs> Considering how everyone oh. knows where he lives anyway. Oh no! <laughs> I'm like a few hours at best, or, or at worst. So I was making a funny, and I'm sure Thomas would have been like, "Hey!" and I would have been like, "Ah, it's funny," but it's not funny. It's awful because oh, I know yeah. it's, it's about the docks, right? Yeah. Come, ugh! I need. How do I get 50 oh, you people it. to like this video? <laughs> you, you missed it, um, Alex. Uh, there's a. Uh, apparently those people kind of returned recently, and I, yeah, I saw uh, that. yeah, oh yeah, uh, me and like all the mods were hopping onto his live stream to like kick out all the people. Oh my goodness, seriously? <laughs> because he, yeah, he, it was kind of a bait. It was kind of bait by him, but it, um, all the people from Reddit were coming onto the live stream to try and like throw stuff at Thomas, and he Why? just called. He just added. He just added all of the. People he made moderators, me and Cameron and uh, Zija and everybody, and we all just showed up, and it was a massive like storm of deletes for a while. Mm. Mm. That's a shame. That's never fun. Yeah, that sucks. Mm. How do people get enjoyment out of this sort of stuff? I don't understand that either. Yeah, like it's just. Like, haha, oh, you're suffering, haha, oh, wow, haha, oh, wow. Yeah. Um... No, yeah, if I went to Thomas's house, all I do is I do the ding dong ditch and then I would leave, like, I don't know, a sandwich or something. There's <laughs> <laughs> so much effort. You really? <laughs> also, like, we would let him know that you were coming. You just, like, sit on his porch cross legged, filming, waiting, watching. Anticipating. Did you, Alex, did you see the clip of when I was on his live stream? 
Oh yeah, no. I. <laughs> you drove him crazy. <laughs> Why? It was amazing. So I, we were fighting. I had never beaten a Latrion before because I basically just procrastinated. And Thomas was like, "No, no, hop on here. We'll do it right now." And so we did. And but during uh, the fight, uh, he was about to do Eschaton, and we had weakened him. But my armor was still weak enough that it drained pretty fast. Yeah. And. What I did is, um, right as he was about to do Eschaton, I clutched to his face. <laughs> and Thomas was like, and Thomas was like, What are you doing? Run it! <laughs> and I just, um, and all, all you see from Thomas's perspective is Latrion just whoosh straight up into the air, taking <laughs> yeah. me with him. Yeah. And he's, um, and he's I like have hammering been on his face during, um, one of those judgments, so I know what it looks like. But There's no, what times happened of desperation. Like, from my perspective, I, it was actually kind of a mistake, but I got the timing right. And what I did is I just hopped off, mm -hmm. like, and I landed behind Thomas where he couldn't see me and <laughs> had already eaten the Astera jerky before he even popped off the dust of life. Oh, yeah. And, and then if you watch Thomas's end, you can just see me, like, a quickly, like, run behind him right after it's over. That was amazing. So you just scared the crap out of him. Yeah. I think if I, I if I, I think if I carded there, he might have just been done. <laughs> I need to go to take a tinkle. So I'll be right back. Tinkle may be taken. It's a two a.m. tinkle. Tinkle Tinkler. Yeah, it's like it's almost eight here. I think Kim's actually gonna be back at about eight. Oh, I got so much to do tomorrow. Wow, is the wait? What's the time difference for us again? Shouldn't be. Because I um because it's almost eight here as well. I thought we were like an hour apart. Um, in terms of distance physical distance we should be oh no physical di or, oh i thought you meant like physical distance as in like travel and i was like no alex that's like a few days <laughs> that's what i'm saying it, it physical distance we should be but we're not um and that's predominantly just because of how weird um eh, it's not weird i under i know why they did it um time zones are based Do you on, run on when Eastern? certain cities want to still be associated with the stock markets so for some reason like eastern is really really big because everyone wanted to line up with new york it's not an exciting story but that's the story oh okay so so basically yeah, yeah new york is just huge so eastern time massive but it doesn't need to be Also, I sent I sent you the I sent you the clip if you wanted to watch it later. <laughs> the clip, it, the Elatrion clip, like oh, from yeah, the stream. Yeah. I thought it, I thought it was so funny that I used Thomas OBS screaming to. Yet. I gotta watch it. I, I used the I used OBS to cut out the clip and then uploaded it to my channel. <laughs> OBS. Yeah, so I guess we run on the same time. I was I was always confused about that. I, I guess, yeah, now that you've explained it, that makes sense. Right, because I shouldn't be on the same time zone. Time zones should be straight lines. You would think they'd be the, straight lines, but they're not. It's, it's based on what cities want to associate with each other. There's another YouTuber I know who's farther east than you are, and we're an hour apart. That's why I got confused. Right, I'm close to it, but I'm, I'm not close enough to where I'm, like, dealing with it on a daily basis or anything like that. Tinkle has been taken. I have taken a Tinkle. You had done a Tinkle Tinkler? Tinkle Tinkler, Tinkle Tinkle. Three times fast. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I heard it. Just slow down your brain. 
Exactly. <laughs> it's like that moment in Portal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just say it really with fast, Lattice and giving you just play it back in your head really slowly so you hear what I said. Then take a tinkle. I'm pretty sure she reads, like, the beginning of, like, Moby Dick or something. Yeah, I can't remember. Or can you? If I just remember it really slowly, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what, um... She's reading some book. <laughs> What's a book? I was reading a book last night. <laughs> What's read, a book? I read books. What is this books? This reminds me of that uh, segment on the Ellen show where oh my God, she I like... Watch that? No. <laughs> it's just very memed and stuff. Okay. Where she like takes millennials and she's like, haha, you're stupid. You don't know how to use this piece of technology that's been out of use for the last 10, 20 years. Haha, <laughs> wow, you're so stupid. Malleable silence. Mm. Cut it with a knife. Ellen's such a hateable person. <laughs> yeah. Especially recently. Yeah, there's a lot of crap coming out recently. Yeah, I, I don't watch a lot of TV in the first place. So. Uh, or like any shows. TV. It's just like, uh, you get news. The majority, are my, the majority of my shows are like you and a couple other YouTubers. <laughs> you are my show, Hamster Pump. I'm a show. You're a show. I You're like my the show. I have a weekly show. show. It's called playing with myself. Uh, it's called and with and contrary to popular belief, it's you know not. I should stop right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> probably should because I was even gonna continue it too. Like, uh, no. Huh. Huh. The reason why Clush. I show. Pleasantly difficult to uh, write jokes for that sometimes. I can imagine you thinking of a joke and you just giggling to yourself in the corner. Oh, there's a lot of times where, like, um, like, here, I'm trying to keep those videos short, but each one of them, there's, like, always this golden blooper that I'm like, oh, I wish I could show this, <laughs> but it wouldn't be uh, okay. How much did you laugh? How, how much did you just break off laughing or like say inappropriate jokes during the Black Mesa one? I, by the way, that was a great one. I thought it was your probably your best made one. <laughs> oh, thank you, because that was so freaking hard. I did so much in that one that was new and different that like was I was so not ready for because like the green screen was a new thing. Which, by the way, Ron, I wanted to say I was sorry I didn't have a chance to like thank you for giving me the game in that video because I couldn't really oh, fit it all in. <laughs> also, the G-Man voice is, like, slow motion, so I didn't want to spend any more time than absolutely necessary pointing out that, you know, Kim put up the green screen, which took her a long time. Um, and, like, a bunch of other uh, uh, you know, listing everybody's name and all that. Um, which I guess technically you were still in that video, but anyway, um, God, that one took so long. I, like, mainly because, like, I had no time to work on it because of my work schedule, so I had to crank that video out in a matter of hours. It took, like, writing it and everything. I don't know how I managed to finish. Because you are a very special person. So I worked my butt off for a bunch of people who are probably not going to acknowledge how much work goes into that thing, and only, like, a hundred-some people are going to see it. Not even that day. I live streamed that day. Uh, let me. Yes, I remember. I was on the I'm live stream right now. Hamster bomb. It's like videos. literally opened the next step for me. And I... one day ago, oh, actually, exactly a hundred views. It's sad. It's so sad. What are the six? Oh, I know. Okay. Um, I was like. The 11, the 11 likes, that makes sense, because that's like our average, that was like our average count during the stream. <laughs> um, 
So it's the people like, of, who of, watch like, the stream. And Ugh. then six dislikes. I'm assuming that's from like all the recent flack, but because I encountered some of those people in the comments too. Really? Yeah, they they were complaining about how the comments was turned off, and I said, and they were blaming you for it. And I said, no, that was the mods. Shut up, you guys. You aren't being constructive anymore. Yeah. Um, I didn't even go through there. Yeah, the mods were basically like, you gotta shut these off. Which I'm like, all right. I wasn't even reading them. They blame me for yeah, I, yeah. I didn't even read it. I, I was ba I, basically, I just kept some of them quiet, like yeah. in in the playing with myself comment section. <laughs> yeah, I just had to remove another comment right now. From that video? Yeah, from the playing with myself. To be fair, I think you're. I, I think the um, the reaction has like the most views you've gotten in like who knows how long. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care much for, uh, because whenever I, I have something that, um, garners a larger reaction, it's because it's something that, uh, the trolls are all into. And you can tell whenever that happens, because they're like, oh, this is clearly something that, um, a lot of people are going to get pissed off about, so I'm going to intentionally go out of my way to find reaction videos where people don't exactly agree with everything that I said or think about this, and I'm going to yell at them and try and sabotage everything that they're building on their channel because they're wrong and they don't think what I think. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, dislikes give you power. So, on, on YouTube, dislikes actually are good for videos, too. Dislikes are <laughs> better than likes. I know, yeah. It's really wrong. But I guess that's the positive you can take out of it. Oh, Turn I, a negative uh, into I a just positive. Them. <laughs> what? No, I'm just watching a video. <laughs> what video? It's, 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 uh, it's something Maltese. Oh, squad! Did you de did you delete the guy I responded to? I, I think so. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I, I just noticed like my reply was there, and like he was just gone. Either that, or uh, he deleted himself. I mean, I can't see your comment. I can o I could only see his. It's probably for the best. Um. Other than that, I just n I just left a comment in general to the video saying "Good job, Alex," and. I made a note about the soundtrack. Oh not yeah. Not about anything you picked about just just like in general. I was just I was just saying some fun facts like yeah. usual. I I really wanted a chance to like go over some of it um just like run through and make sure I have better fact checking stuff on everything, but I had zero time on that video. Um I hope everything was hey, that... still accurate and everything I talk about was for the most part it's just like opinion stuff. Also, I, I want to make the most iron. confusing review I have ever done, because in the end, I'm I argue that either game is the superior version for opposite reasons, and they have opposite re review scores from opposite perspectives. I think it fit really well. You did a good, Hammy. I did it good. You haven't even seen it. Don't you don't. don't yeah, the only. The only thing I noticed with the fact checking was something music related, but that was, but that's very minor. What was that? Because uh, you were saying that like with the first, you you said it might you might have just worded it wrong, but like um, you said that the first game soundtrack was missing uh, music in a lot of sections, but um, I'd say in contrast, Black Mesa actually has like a lot less um, soundtrack coverage than the original like especially like if you're comparing to let's bring up nihilinth for a second because black mesa totally could have gotten away with a song playing during nihilinth they didn't play one at all which is a real shame because in the original half-life it makes sense that they didn't play one because the nihilinth fight could take anywhere from like 20 to 30 minutes yeah. because he would like teleport you from area to area I so know. a soundtrack wouldn't soundtrack wouldn't make much sense but <laughs> There was so little time to talk about all that stuff because I, I, it's another thing I learned from this. Don't ever review two games at once. 
Even if it was the same game, you know. What was the Again, if it makes you video? feel any better. Uh, it's like 15 minutes, I think. 15. Uh, stupid ads. Oof. I gotta get through the ads to even 14 see. 14 minutes, one second. Also, I have an idea on what to draw. Woohoo! Yep. 14 minutes, one second. <laughs> 14. Ooh. Oh, Rowan, do you have a... To be fair, like, even though it was difficult, uh, it is one of your more well-made videos with really well-thought-out, like, it's a really well-thought-out review, so... That's that's good. I, I hope that, because like, that's what it needs to be at most, like, um... Good God. I, I was trying to make it clear, like, I'm bouncing between talking about two different versions of the same thing, and then, um, you know, you... I try and write each section so that at least it ends on some sort of joke that people who don't even know the game are gonna at least get the joke. They're not inside jokes. If I if I know it's a big enough game, I can get away with an inside joke, but typically I try and not do that. I mean, the G-Man sort of is, but that's yeah, a but good I did inside it, joke. I, I tried to establish what he was first before doing yeah, that, yeah. you know? Because I was like, yeah. Squad, were you about to say something? Squad. Oh, I just, I just said that I have an idea on what to draw. Oh, okay. Which Sorry, draw? I thought you said something different. Tony Stark. Tony Stark. Tony Stark. My idol. He's a drunk. <laughs> I love Tony Stark. Are you talking He's... about Robert Downey Jr. or actually like yes. the character? Um, the character no, I was asking Tony Alex. Stark Wait. Oh. Is a, an absolute drunk. One of his. What is it? Uh, Demon in a Bottle is one of his most famous stories, and it's um, just about how he's just like a horrible person trying to get over how, like, awful he is. Yeah, I'm talking about the Robert Downey Jr.'s version of Tony Stark. Oh, never mind. Um, oh yeah, Squad, I also sent you the Alastrion yeah, clip yeah, in, case, in case you wanted to find it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I'll, I'll be sure to watch it later on. So we were talking earlier, um, in the next few days, um, just because of my work schedule again, I think I'm gonna have to, um, once again, make my entire playing of myself video for the week like out of thin air um so i gotta figure out what i'm doing before next time and um you were kind of saying before rowan i think um maybe we should look at like doing a sequel to something that i've already done a review to or just like one in the same series because i, I have no that clue every once in a while but admit i'd love to see what did what did love to see rowan to... say that guy's an idiot squad well, keeps trying to say what he'd love to see i, I can't hear what? Uh, I'd love to see Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2? Yes. I feel like I just did Uncharted not too long ago. How many episodes back was that? Oh, that was a while ago. Was it really? Yeah, let me check. It was like... I think... Feels recent. All of these feel like I just did them. I think the only thing I've pushed for in the past is Bioshock, because I'm a big fan. Yeah, and the reason I keep skipping out on Bioshock is there's always some reason why the other thing that I just did was similar to Bioshock. Like, now in this case, Half-Life and Bioshock are really similar. Um, and oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yes, and... Yeah, Drake's, Drake's Fortune was a, month, was a month ago. Yeah, but a month back is only like three to four episodes. Mm. This it? could be a month bordering two months though. Uh, let me check the dates. What, what was like the last like Metal Gear or Monster Hunter or something like that? July 20. Yeah, it was in July. Drake's Fortune. So almost two months ago now. Uh, I guess if you wanted me to give you a sequel suggestion, uh, the only one that comes to mind is Half Life 2, but <laughs> that requires you to play it first. Oh yeah, <laughs> no way that's happening. I mean, you could just do it, like, I already know you're probably going to do that on your own time, In so. my own time, eventually, yes. I will, but now, no way. Did I call this blue? Oh, lord, I did. Yes, very right. Coloring takes so much less time than... For some reason, uh, I'm an inker. 
Oh yeah, squad. I never. Uh, I can't remember. Did you want to try? Uh, did you want to try getting my copy of uh, Half Life Two? No, it's okay, man. I appreciate. I really appreciate the offer, but I I was just fine watching it. I don't play much single player games. Many single player games. I play a, but, like mostly single player games. But uh, thanks for the offer, though. I guess the only one you'd be interested in then is maybe like at some point Half Life Two Deathmatch, which is basically just you play as like a person with just like a, all the guns and stuff, and you just deathmatch with a bunch of people, <laughs> or like with anybody you set up a room with. I could chuck toilets at you with a gravity gun. <laughs> <laughs> the Lou. Hmm. Yeah, um, I know it's been a while with Metal Gear, um, and Kim's been saying Metal, Metal Gear. Gear Solid 4 would be a really controversial one, too. Maybe a good idea? I don't know much, I don't know much about Metal Gear, but, um, what, what's controversial about 4? <laughs> so, um, long story short, it's a movie, it's not a game. Mm. Okay. Now, it's a... Mm, there are some really, really cool parts to this movie, and then there's some bits that just, like, do a little too much. So, yeah. And then the fact that, you know, people bought it as a game, they didn't buy it as a movie. A lot of people are just pissed about that alone, but... And then 5 kind of went in the opposite direction after that, where it's, like, it's a game and there's almost no story which people mostly want Metal Gear for its story. Oh, shoot. Accidentally erased that there. Didn't need to do that. And we're listening to No More Heroes, and I'm like, uh, more new games. I might do... I mean, Uncharted 2 is a very good one, but I feel like um, there's other games that I'm doing, like, the sequel thing for that have been waiting so much longer than Uncharted, because Uncharted I, is much more recent compared to the others in terms of what yeah. I've done. Um, I still haven't watched your Witcher playing with myself because I've been meaning to play the Witcher, so I'm like... I should probably avoid that. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Um, it's the first one. Um, a lot of people recommend you don't even play the first one. In my video, I very confusingly tell you, don't play it, this game's an abomination, and at the same time, this game is a masterpiece, you need to play it. So... Not confusing at all. Right, I... Well, but the whole nature of, you know, having two versions of yourself do a review is supposed to be confusing. Because the whole idea, concept is that you're never going to get the same information out of the same person. Um, so, you know, it's, it's really, um, there's a lot to say there with The Witcher. Um, the game is like a dollar. I would still recommend, if you want to get into The Witcher, play three. Finish three. Do the DLC for three. Do everything you can for three. Then when you're like, I want more Witcher, play two. Do everything you can for two. Start two over. Do the other route for two, because there's two routes in two. Then play one, if you're desperate for more Witcher. So, if you just want to get like more context of what the first one is, then definitely just watch the video. I do skim over the story, and I mean skim, and it's one of the longer story bits, but there's so much more that... Um, I don't touch on and leave for you to play. There's like two things, really, that I, really like one real thing that I spoil, and it's not even much. It's more, it, 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 I spoil a thing that most players miss when they finish that game. So, honestly, that's up to you. And I, I made that first one because I'm like, I need to review The Witcher for sure. And um, I, Oh, yeah, the intro skit. I love the Witcher intro skit. 
this has been Alex doing a plug for the Playing With Myself Witcher episode. <laughs> you should watch my Witcher episode, shameless plug. It's been rated M for People Juice, Jolly Good Scuffles, Birthday Suits, Naughty Words Like Doo Doo, Rampant Sexy Times, and Happy Stuff. <laughs> Man, you have that memorized. I do. <laughs> I was even thinking if I uh, streamed Cyberpunk 2077, um, I would basically have to recite that at the beginning of every live stream, so that please people... do, <laughs> please do. The following Wait, isn't that game first person? Juice, jolly good scuffles, birthday suits, naughty words like doo doo, rampant sexy times, and happy stuff. Support CD Projekt Red and for this cornucopia of delight called Cyberpunk 2077, <laughs> and it would happen every time. Isn't that game first person? Huh. Isn't that game first person? It is. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really bummed about that because I'm gonna get super nauseous. But to be I'm fair, there's gonna... a lot of other stuff that's not first person in it, so it's just combat. I'm just putting things. a I'm just putting a quick F in the chat. Yeah. Though um there's basically a Witcher Pokemon Go game coming out. I'm really pumped about that. Um, what is that supposed to be? Like, I, I saw an ad for it, but I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. It's so cool. I've seen so much about it. Basically, like, your character is just, like, um, in their canon, this is way distant past. You're one of the earliest witchers, and um, you just need to, in the real world, find um, in ingredients, fight monsters, brew potions, make blade oils, uh, do quests with people which are like NPC characters you will find and discover is the more traveling you do and more monsters and stuff you kill to make better stuff and level it up. And it, there's so much, it's like Witcher three, except on real world platform. It just looks really cool. Hmm. Um, I'm going to do, maybe I'll get it when it comes to, or is it already out or is it going to come out? Yeah. I, you would have seen it on my channel if it were out. Um, wait, it's... you can record things on your phone. I can, but, Oof, it will destroy my battery. <laughs> Do we run out of musics finally? We did. We are finally cowboys. Yeehaw! It's one of the um, tracks on that. Um, Uncharted gets pissed off if I play their music. Um, who who doesn't get pissed? No, oh, it is Uncharted. Get yeah, I think Uncharted gets pissed off if I play their music. Who doesn't get pissed off if I play their music? Um... Uh, I'm hoping No More Heroes doesn't. I've never played No More Heroes on here before, so. We'll the see. original Half Life 1 soundtrack. Uh, probably won't get pissed. But Half Life music is freaking loud, and I'll have to change all my stuff over. Oh, well, really? no. Uh, Black Mesa music is loud. Half Life 1 is kind of subtle. Okay. Let's try it. Um... Except for Nuclear Mission Jam, which is kind of a little bit loud, but. <laughs> Here we go. Which is such a... Like, I, I just want to acknowledge that name for a second. Nuclear Mission Jam. What time is... Kim making it back? I probably didn't even have time for that. But yeah, she'll be coming back in just a bit. Um, let me just see what this looks like with these two. Yeah, I'm getting late here anyways. It's like two... 10 in the morning. Sleep, squad. Yeah, sleep. Squad, you need to sleep. I don't want you to die. <laughs> uh, I don't sleep Not anyway. Yet. I we, think, but... we have plans for you yet. Wow. I still can't sleep without taking melatonin tablets, so. Yeah, well, I mean. I can't either. Oh, shoot. I gotta go turn the fish lights on. I really shouldn't be doing this much longer now that I think about it. Also, Kim has a. Or, ooh. She has a slow cooker on. Hmm. Yeah, whoops. Um, Suddenly, Hamster remembers responsibilities. Uh, well, um, anyway. Let me see. Well, we got really far in this today. I finished those, uh, the boots and the arm I didn't realize I never finished. Um, I have a lot more to do in terms of, like, shading and whatnot, but, um... Doing the, the light-up parts first makes it look a lot more finished than it really is. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, I had this dream of, like, doing this um, Metroid comic for so long. And um, 
It'd be one of those things like Monster Hunter needs it too. Like, you give us the lore, now let the story be told somewhere else. You know, if it doesn't work in your game, then just do it somewhere else. And like, Metroid has a tremendous amount of lore, but it's a silent, um, usually horror, you're all alone on an alien planet just uncovering things. And um, the, you've like you're coming late, like a historian or like a um, you know like a paleontologist practice, it's like seeing what's going on and trying to figure it out. Uh, though there is a no, there's an actual science to trying to like discover past civilizations based on what they find. Archaeology, something like that. Uh, I don't remember what it's archaeology. Called. Is it? All right. Well basically what she does and um alongside kill the things uh metroid prime may be the best at that and honestly um rowan if you love half-life you've got to try metroid prime like there's so so much that's oh like... if we're talking like metroid wouldn't it be xeno archaeology <laughs> well um it depends on where she is <laughs> So there's a lot of weird stuff. Well, unless, unless you're talking about Other M, then they were legitimately trying to tell the story in the foreground and not be subtle, but Metroid's great because it's subtle. And it's all background stuff. And, like, you could choose to gun through it, or you could just, like, have it all in the background. I used to do these art streams more often and really enjoy them. Yeah, I really... I need breaks. I do really need breaks where I can just sit down and just, like, ah, this is nice. I can just do this. Also, I really wanted a poster. <laughs> um, so I, I was working on this thing for a while now. I don't know if I'm going to want the, the Metroid... Um, logo up there in the end i just kind of put it there also it's the samus returns one so well i mean if, it looks fair, nice with the... the with the nebulas oh it's that's because it's got a um an effect on it right now it should look like uh this um eh, which is similar colors anyway but i had it on a hard light i think yeah looked a little better <sighs> Yikes. Purple. Purple? Purple. Yeah, purple. The good suit. Uh-oh. 2 a.m. squad is coming out. 2 a.m. purple. Okay. Um, purple. So here, um, I'm going to do a sequel to something. I'm going to go through um, the list of games on uh, Playing With Myself's uh, playlist. Um, also, by the way, uh, fun fact... Um, Season 2 of Playing With Myself has been finished and has been on YouTube for about a month now. Um, actually, it has been a month to the day now because I had to argue for uh, rights to the music because of the Metal Gear 2 segment that they once again claimed is not a review and it's theirs. Well, I had to wait an entire month and still I think I have to wait another more, one more day for it to carry over and give me the rights to just publish the video. Um, so I'm still waiting on that. But the fun fact thing is... Um, Black Mesa slash Half-Life review is the final episode of season three. And um, if I finish the next Whoa. two Pokemon ones, then I can finally make the video that's, because I don't count those as episodes. Then I can finally make the video that says my opinion on all Pokemon. And it'll be just as long as another season. So that could be arguably season four. I'll be like, bam, and it'll all happen like all at the same time. Oof. It's interesting to go through those, the season thing, by the way, if you, like, watch through the whole thing, because, like, I cut out the, um, the, there's, like, a snap intro, which is, like, boom, and it just, like, shows what it is and just goes, and then, um, right when I say it's, you're just playing with yourself, boom, it starts the next one. It doesn't, like, do the outro thing, or I think all the patrons, because that would, in every single one of them, it would probably add up to make the whole thing, like, two hours and, like, 15 minutes instead of, like, an hour 45, um, so instead of just like, bam, 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 and we just like fly through them all. Um, which is a shame, because there's a lot of funny stuff I do sometimes in those outro things where I'm thanking the Patreon members, like in Resident Evil, um, or, uh, like, um, you know, the, the Black Mesa one. I was like the G-Man the entire time, which was weird, but, um, god, there were so many outfits I had to do in that one, <laughs> too. Um, I, oh, by the way, I don't know, I, I wanted to point this out. Extra points to anybody who noticed in the Black Mesa video that... Um, what is it? General Hamster and Major Bomb are connected via link cable. That. 
I, I didn't have any, like, you know, old school looking walkies or any gear, any camo. I had nothing. So, the closest I could do I was wasn't... just showcase like with a <laughs> with a link cable and hope that people would see it and giggle at the very least. I wasn't looking too hard, so I didn't notice it. But oh, know, that is funny. Yeah, there's there was a lot of stuff I I had in there, and um, there were several other things that I had hidden in it too. I, I, there was some other trivia thing I, I forget what I hid. Um, but jeez, oof. Your skit work. reminded me of a lot of jokes people make about, um, like, the events of Half-Life 1 and Black Mesa, about, like, oh my god, the military's being killed by a man with a crowbar who's just bee-hopping all yeah. over the place. This one guy with a crowbar in this suit, and he's not even wearing a mask, he's, or a helmet, he's just, he's just beating he was the crap out of everybody. <laughs> He was oh, carrying yeah. a small her purple hat and just wouldn't stop jumping. I have no clue why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll go through that. I'll figure it out. Um, like I said, I got to work again tomorrow. And then I'm pretty sure, because let me see, it's Sunday. Um, yeah, th right. So I got three days off in a row. Thursday was my first day off in a long time. And I was like, I got to finish this video. Because it goes up Friday morning, and then Friday morning I was like, finally I can stream. No, it's Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. So yesterday I was like, thank God I can finally stream, and then like nobody was able to watch my video because I was streaming, and then I streamed twice today again. Sunday, um, I've got a lot of stuff going on. I will work again too, but I'm off Monday, but so is Kim. I'm not sure what we're doing. And then Tuesday, I might, oh shoot. I, I'm gonna be busy all day Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I'm gonna have to, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to completely finish and pull another playing with myself video out of my butt in a single day. Oh, it's so stressful doing that because, like, I don't have, if I had consistent lighting, this would be no problem. Um, like, you can see, even in this video, I had to turn on a lamp next to me because I don't have, like, a light. If I just had a light, I would have no issues with this, especially with a green screen. It makes it horrible filming against a green screen when you're using the sun as your light it's so awful um so mm, hopefully i don't need the green screen in this next one i i just could not think of another way out of this next one because i really wanted to do that skit in the beginning where there was no other believable way to do it like you know how like the uncharted one was a little weird where it's like well that wouldn't have really worked Without the green screen, I had to jump into the room, but I don't know. Something like that. Like You can clearly tell if you go back. Like, if I had a green screen, I would have done another skit. Um, so, we'll see. I should I should stop rambling and finally just get on with it and figure out what to do. Oh, God. But anyway, um, Blasphemous was really fun today. I'm glad we at least got to do that this weekend. Um, and get much farther on this Samus thing. I, probably one more stream and I've got this thing done. Um, probably do something with it. I wish I could, um, you know, put it on, like merchandise and stuff like that but these companies get really mad when you put merchandise of games on there which makes sense it's a legal thing so i gotta put like official hamster bomb stuff on there but i don't have time to make all that oh god i have so i have so many other videos i gotta make i'm just ranting i do this at the end of streams every time <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> just ramble it's okay all right well I got stuff I gotta get done. Squad, you gotta sleep. Rowan, it's been fun. Uh, Acrosaurus yeah. and Larjanus and Willy and <laughs> Seto Kaiba. <laughs> Everybody out there. Oh, jeez. What? <laughs> you s just how you said one of them. Willy! Yes, that was the one. Willy! Indeed. Willie, Willie's playing with himself. Is that it? <laughs> no, no. Uh, Large anus. It's it's obvious like why he named himself that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you genuinely didn't realize this? <laughs> Dude, do you know? Do you know those videos I do where I read everyone's username and like thank everyone for being here? Yeah. Also, I'm dyslexic, but, like, can you imagine how zoned out you become after doing that 20 times? 
of reading a thousand usernames. Usernames. Like, I am 100% blind to them. <laughs> it's basically a big butt. A uh, large anus. Yes. Large anus. Uh -huh. Funny. It is funny. It is a funny. They get points for doing a funny. Jurassic Guardians also, thanks for joining us. I gotta sign off. It has been fun, guys. Um, you know, looking at my schedule, just to let you know when I can stream next, uh, just because I told you how busy I'm going to be the next few days. Um, probably Saturday. Sunday, actually, look good. Um, we might do this again. Um, Saturday, do, like, a blasphemous early afternoon and then late um, art. Um, if we... I doubt we're going to finish blasphemous. I don't think we're that far. Um, it's possible because I know we're at, like the next boss and then after that we're allowed to go into the next thing which I don't know maybe that is the end I have no idea uh, but um, if we finish the art thing or finish blasphemous we can do something different on Sunday one thing I was planning on doing this weekend with you guys was monster Hunter generations ultimate uh, but it would just be solo stuff that's the problem yeah, but Acrosaurus I just it works and I know it's not exactly how I'm supposed to say it but I'm, I'm scrambling letters together and making another thing. Acro would be a lot easier. Yeah. Whenever I see his name, I always think Carter because I remember his old username. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know that would be a real problem, especially if I did Monster Hunter. And uh, one, it would just like, you know, bait all those trolls back. I'm kind of waiting a while that happens. I'm just like, ah, we'll let them all go away. Um, same that whenever I did like, you know, like uh, the, the Pokemon reaction to their video, I'm like, oh, well, I can't make Pokemon videos for a while because I want to make sure that they don't get what they want, <laughs> you know, because that's what they want. They just well, want to troll you. So um, if they show up, we could just nuke them like yeah, but um, like we did on the Thomas stream. <laughs> it's it's not funny, though, and it just damages the video uh, in the end. And, you know, it's it's just got the sour spot. We're like, oh, then a bunch of trolls showed up and it wasn't as fun, you know, but, um, you know, if I just play something like Blasphemous, like they're not going to bother, you know, um, so. Anyway, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate Single Player Village. I have, like, the final... I think it's five quests I need to do, which are all, like, the end game quest from each of the games plus the one for Generations. Though I think four has two of them. There's the high rank one and the G rank final that you can do. And, um... We'll probably try that at one point. I'm just, like, so not excited to get into that because it... It's Generations, you know, and... Just not exciting. But then after that point, we can like do the multiplayer, finish up, uh, you know, the final G rank, uh, do the deviant videos, and be like, hey, we did it. The end. Shell that thing. Finally, be done with it. Maybe like the longest ongoing let's play I've ever done on my channel. <laughs> no, I don't know. Q charms went on forever. Those were years. Um, mm, especially Heart Gold. Heart Gold went on for years. Anyway. I, maybe I'll finally finish this. Anyway, I gotta get going. So, um, message me, guys, if uh, you have ideas uh, for uh, an episode for playing with myself. And it could just be, like, upcoming ones. You know, like, um, as of, after I finish this next one, it, the next week can, sure, make it Bioshock after that. That's fine. Um, if you guys really want Bioshock to go down, which, you know, that's one of those games I wanted to do on my channel for, like, so long. I was gonna play it. Um, like, yes. right next to, oh, I've already played it now, so I'm spoiled to it. Um, I was gonna play it, also it was PS3 when I owned it, so I, I couldn't record, I can't record PS3 anymore. Um, the problem is, um, I was gonna play it, you know when I played Metal Gear Solid 1? If you go back to the video of me announcing me playing Metal Gear Solid 1, I think in that same video I say I'm also gonna play Bioshock. <laughs> or I may play Bioshock, I wouldn't really, really want to play Bioshock. And, um, crickets for like five so years. <laughs> Uh, and I never got around to it. So I think Bioshock would do a lot better as a playing with myself review video. As opposed to like doing an entire let's play with it. Because I got really nauseous playing with Bioshock. It's not one of those things you want to watch me play. As expected, I would get nauseous. Um, I just can't do it. Um, not the gore or anything. I'm totally cool with, you know, taking the... What, is it a plumber's wrench in Bioshock? Um, I think it's a plumber's wrench. Oh, no, 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 no. Even an infinite is so much more gruesome. Because you got like this... This, like, spinning... Skyhook. Yeah, that skyhook buzzsaw arm thing that you just, like, stab into people's heads and... <laughs> it's... Oh, it's great. Um, but... 
Yeah, uh, I think it'd be a better video, especially because, like, Bioshock is, like, a wonderful combination of, like, um, it feels like this weird mix of gameplay of Metroid Prime, Metal Gear Solid, and Half-Life that's, like, all coming together perfectly, and it's just really cool. Those are, like, three of the best games ever made already, so Bioshock it must be outstanding. I never played 2, skipped out on 2, I have not heard good things about 2, I played Infinite, I loved Infinite. Um, I think I watched what goes down in 2, just because I was curious, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's, it's not scary if you're a big daddy, and there goes that. Anyway, am I ever going to end this First stream? Point. We find out next week if the stream ever turned off, did Alex ever stop talking? Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Next time. I'm, I'm still charging my spirit bomb over here while trying to turn the stream off. Maybe next week my arms will still be up in the air. Alex H. Valda. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I really gotta get downstairs and turn the fish light on. I got some stuff I gotta get done. So, I do have to get going. We got pretty darn far with the, the Metroid thing. Uh, I'm gonna figure out what I gotta do for um, I'm playing on myself video. Um, but, oh shoot, when is... uh? It's this other outro thing. number six. Oh crap! That's next Saturday. Yikes! Wait, will no, he, that's not will next he Saturday. make that's, it a seven? Saturday after. I'm getting all mixed up of like a bunch of stuff going down. Okay. I okay. I've been zoned out for the last five minutes. <laughs> that's what I was talking. It's like you're, you're like my students when I had them. No, uh, I, it's. You didn't have classes at 2:30 a.m. Okay. Hey, you're not you're not giving me homework, so I'm good. I did give out homework. Anyway. Oh yeah, I have to do I have to do the super long project. You know, we did think about before. I think we were thinking about doing this in Y Academy when it, we were intent. This is supposed to instead be like a chill chat thing. It's supposed to be like um you know, digital art session questions. You know, and while I'm working on something, I can stop and show you guys stuff. Um, or like assign things for you to do by the time we get another art session thing in because if you don't just keep working on it You're not gonna get a chance to get any better at it and that was the intention. So maybe we should try bringing that back squad <laughs> Hey, I was drawing today. Uh, okay. Yeah outro Don't number sass seven. me mister You got to try outro number seven now, so outro number seven. Oh my I'm still trying I'm ch still charging my spirit bomb. All right. I'm, I'm at like Super Saiyan level blue hair uh, monkey yeah, tail yeah. right now. Yeah, you st still trying. But you sound exactly the same. What's up with that? I know. I... Maybe I should be more triumphant with my spirit bomb. Charging. You know, I would, I would try to match you, but I'm just too tired to do so. I'm really tired too. I've been streaming all day, pretty much the past two days, and I have, and then I had like the most breakneck crazy day before then and then non-stop work for about a week before that i have it's not okay now you earned a high five this is my break this is my break yeah i got the high five yeah i, I tried I, I can when when i'm i'm really tired i can reach all the way to malta with my high fives right. yeah this, this one's the one i mean it this time I'm, this is the one um how do I this do it? The one. Not be a distraction. I'll just leave now. How do I do an outro? Uh oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next art stream. Bye bye. <laughs>